The world craves conflict. Get down! Times when we fight with our hearts, wounded and bleeding. That's the only time you know you're alive. But now everyone acts like they're above that. The current world is built on the pathetic ideas of bonds and connections. All structured around the memories that were forged until now. Which means the world is built on memories. But what would happen to the world if those things went away? That's right. People will do what they always do. I will change this world. Pain, who once led Hidden Rain Village, perished before he could achieve his dream. I have inherited his will, and realized the rule of the strongest. A world ruled by strength is the future. I will become a god, and rule with power for all time. That is why I need your help. We must crush the Five Nations. Destroy the Five Kage and all that surround them. I expect great things from all of you. Now, let the games begin. This would happen. this happen? It started from something so small.
We made it to Hidden Leaf Village. That's mission accomplished. That went faster than I thought. Well, catching cats is pretty easy. Looks like you got scratched, though. Did I? I don't remember. You have a selective memory. Konohamaru-sensei, can we be done for the day? Hmm... Well, there aren't any more missions. Okay, that's it for today. Good work, guys. Oh, wait a minute! If you'll excuse me, Konohamaru-sensei. Yes? What happened? What do you mean? You seem to be in a hurry to go home. Is everything okay? The new game I ordered should be at my house. Game? Seriously? Is it Ninja Heroes? How'd you know? It's a really popular video game in the ninja world right now. Yeah, I looked everywhere and I finally got a copy. You do love your games. Actually, I'm doing something for Himawari this time. What do you mean? That, over there. A new campaign is open in Ninja Heroes! This is your chance to get a super rare replica of the necklace worn by the Lord Seventh Hokage when he was young! Let's travel to the world of Ninja Heroes right now! Boruto! Daddy's necklace! A necklace? Mom, did Dad wear something like that? He doesn't wear it now, but I'm sure there was a time he wore the necklace he got from the fifth Hokage. Hmm. So it's a replica of the old one? <laughs> I can't believe game companies check all that stuff. Ah. What? Well, if you want that, I'll get it for you. Really? Yeah. Leave it to me. So, Mom, can I buy that new game for Himawari? Are you sure it's not for you? No, it's for Himawari. So that's what happened. Hmm. So I guess it is for Himawari. Yeah, and that's why I have to play the game. What do you mean you have to? You're smiling. Anyways, gotta go. See you, Sarda. Mitsuki. I'm home. Oh. Welcome home. Welcome home. So this is Ninja Heroes. Okay. <laughs> First of all, I've got to make sure that we've got a network connection set up. So, yep, no problem there. Well then... Oh, I see. We've got to choose the name that we're going to use in the game. Well, okay. I guess my own name will do. Now we need to choose what our avatar is going to be. Hmm... Sasuke would be a cool image to use. But, you know, I think I'll use my dad's appearance from back then. Guess I'll just press these buttons to select the rest. And we're all set. Time to have some fun. Let's start the game! Huh? Oh, wow! So this is Ninja Hero's virtual world. Oh. Whoa, I look just like my dad. This is kind of weird, but fun too. Kind of makes it exciting. <laughs> Let's see, where do I go first? And what am I supposed to do? Where can I join a battle?
Nanashi, has a new event started? There are no new events at this time. No new events? And then let's go do some free missions. Is that this game's guide character or something? Hey! Hello, I'm Nanashi. I'll be your guide to events. There are no new events at this time. Oh, that's fine. I don't need that. Could you just tell me what beginners should be doing? All beginners should read page 13 in the manual before playing. I don't want to read a manual, so why don't you just tell me? All beginners should read page 13 in the manual before playing. I mean, I just want to know the basics. All beginners should read page 13 in the manual before playing. Come on, just tell me. You already know what's on this page 13. You won't give up. Huh? I'm just the event guide. I don't deal with newbies. What's with the attitude? Because you're so persistent. You know, it's not just you. The ninja world now is too soft. Why don't you look it up yourself before you ask someone else? Come on, I'm a newbie. Help me out. It doesn't matter if you're a beginner or not. You just want things to be easier. <sighs> Whatever. If you insist, I guess I could use my valuable time and tell you about it. Okay, I'll look into it myself. Just at least tell me where I can go to battle. Come on, please. Honestly. <sighs> Fine. You're annoyingly persistent. I'll guide you around as a special favor. Well, gee, thank you very much for that. What took you? It's because you left so fast. You can take on lots of different missions here, so take on any that seem to interest you. Anyway, you're on your own. Wait a minute. What now? I mentioned it before, but I'm a beginner, so do you have any battles for noobs? There's nothing like that. Since you're like an event guide or whatever, doesn't that mean you know a lot about this game's system? Couldn't you arrange some kind of easy battle for me? I faced a lot of players up until now, but you're the first one to be this shameless. The beginning is crucial. I really want to enjoy this game. <sighs> you're so annoying. Okay. You'll probably just keep pestering me if I say no, so... I'll prepare a battle for you as a special favor. Okay. Come on, it's time to do this. So, what are you going to do? Are you going to get started? Sure. Looking forward to it. Yeah, yeah. I think I finally understand how these battles work. Now I'm really done with guiding you. Got it? Yeah. I'll look into it on my own later on. I'm finally free. <laughs> You're funny. Huh? I mean, you helped me out and even set up a battle for me. Thanks. What a weirdo. <sighs> this game was way cooler than I thought it'd be. I'll have to tell Shikadai and the others about it. Boruto! Food's almost ready. Come on down. Yeah, I'm coming. I guess that my eyes need a rest. Where's Dad? He said his schedule is full today. Again? <sighs> it's been five months. We still haven't tracked down Tegusei? No, we're still investigating. I... Apologize that there was a thief working from my lab. It's not just your fault. We weren't vigilant enough. I can't believe he's still off our radar after all the stealing he did. It's impressive. He probably used a ninja tool to escape. He was a very talented staff member. 
What's unfortunate is that we were unable to make him understand that what he was doing was wrong. If only we could have used his powers for good instead of evil. Yeah. You remember that Tegruse stole ninja tools and design data when he ran away. However, yesterday, we discovered that he had stolen another object. What? The history of the Warring State Seals was stolen from the library. What's that? It's a scroll that lists the people sealed during the Warring States period. It details the reasons why they were sealed away, and the locations where they're being held as well. This is bad. Continue the search. The ninja tools being stolen was bad, but stealing that scroll is even worse. Fortunately, we have a copy of it. We can use it to investigate all the seal locations. Katasuke, inspect the lab with the investigation team for leads. Yes, sir. Hey, Shikadai. In a jean? Yo! Hey! What are you doing here? We're talking about where to meet up. Meet? Have you heard of the game Ninja Heroes? We were talking about playing together. What? You guys have Ninja Heroes too? I finally got it yesterday. I guess that makes us a little more experienced than you. Seriously? I guess that you beat me to it. If you have it too, want to start playing together? Yeah, I was thinking about contacting you guys. Then let's meet up in front of the mission information desk. <laughs> Copy that. Looking forward to your guidance, Mr. Expert. See you later, noob. <laughs> okay. Now I'll show Shikadai and the others how good I can play. Let the games begin. Actually, I don't even know what Shikadai and the others look like here. Got no choice. Hey, Shikadai, are you here? Idiot, don't yell out my real name here. Look, it was our fault for not letting him know what we were going to look like. So this is Shikadai and Inojin. Yep. Hmm. Shikadai looks like Gara. Yeah, I mean, we're related. Pretty nice, right? So, what are you supposed to be, Inojin? Huh? Don't I look cool? You think so? You have no artistic sense, Boruto. Come on, who cares about what we look like? Let's get started already. We already accepted a mission, and we can get started on that right away, if you're okay with that, Boruto. Thanks. Guess I'll take a crack at this. Okay. <laughs> it's pretty fun messing around in the game world. Yeah, being so different from real life is what makes it fun. By the way, why did you start playing this game, Boruto? Is it because it got popular? You know, they're doing that campaign where you can get my dad's necklace. Himawari really wants that. Oh, that thing that they're running on the commercials. But there isn't any information about it yet. Something about announcing it later? Seriously? Well, what do I do now? I started playing this game for the necklace. There's way more people now. Yeah, there's probably more than double compared to when we started. Oh. Nanashi! You again? I heard there's no information about the necklace campaign yet. I want that necklace, so what do I gotta do? I don't know. I'm just an event guide. I'm not in charge of campaigns. So, I just have to wait until they update the information? Basically. Ugh. So, we're done here? Wait a minute. What? You can pester me all you want about the campaign, but I still don't know anything. No, that's fine. Did you see what I just did? What? That combo attack was pretty impressive, right? 
I think I got the hang of dodging, too. No, I didn't see you. I mean, why would I? Come on, I was kicking butt out there. Why is he so friendly with the guide character? Her reactions are different from when we talked to her. Isn't she being controlled by a computer? So she changes her attitude depending on who talks to her? That's some pretty impressive tech. Or maybe someone is controlling her behind the scenes. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's plausible. Sorry, I just ran into someone I know. Someone you know? We're heading back soon. Already? We've got a night mission in the real world. It's a pain, but we gotta go get ready for that. I see. Well, I guess that makes sense then. Good luck! Bye see you now. later! It's fun playing games with people you know. I'll rope in Mitsuki and Sarada next. Hmm. Maybe I've been playing too long. Mom! Food, please! Going far for your mission today? Yeah, it's close enough for a day trip, though. Be careful. See you later! See you when I get back! Okay, you're here. Team 7 will be heading into the northwest region of the Land of Fire for an investigative mission. It's a small part of a large forest. Why are we going there? According to the report, there's an abnormality in part of the forest. Abnormality? The report mentioned a landslide. Our mission is to check the scene and investigate its cause. There probably won't be any danger of battle, but keep your guards up. Right! right. What is this? Is this the spot? Yes, but this is worse than I imagined. Konohamaru-sensei, where do you want us to go? There's a village nearby. Sarada and I will head there to gather intel. Boruto, Mitsuki, I want you two to search this area and see if you can find anything that could have caused this. Got, Got it! it. Nothing. I tried all I could. Then all we managed to figure out was that it was caused by someone. Yes. And clearly only part of the forest has been destroyed. It wouldn't look like this if it were a natural disaster. Who would do this? Sorry I'm late. Hey, how'd it go? We asked around. The incident occurred three days ago, late at night. A loud crash was heard from deep inside the forest, and the tremors reached all the way to the village. So when they came by the next day, this is what they saw. Even the residents don't know what caused it. Actually, we heard something pretty interesting. A number of residents said they saw a glowing giant through the treetops. A glowing giant? Hmm. Hearing that makes me think of Sasuke for some reason. Yeah, Susanoo. But I don't think Dad would do this for no reason. That's true. Hmm. Let's forget the giant for a minute. Our own investigations found that this destruction was caused by a human. I see. Now we just have to figure out who did it and why. Let's return to the village and give our report for now. 
It'll be better to leave it to an expert rather than investigate this any further on our own. Someone destroyed it. We'll need more details on this incident. Yes, I'll send an inspection team. This incident should be thoroughly investigated. Dad, do you have any idea what the glowing giant is? Does it have to do with Sasuke or something? Did you hear anything about Sasuke being there? Nothing in the reports. So we can't be certain about anything right now. Hmm. We'll check things out, and if we find anything, we'll let you know. Good work today. Take the rest of the day off. Yes, yes sir. sir. <sighs> what could it be? So I guess that caught your attention. Well, it was just a test. Investigating it is useless. <laughs> we won't figure anything out here. Man, I know that. Still, something's bugging me. You get so serious about weird stuff. I'm worried too, though. I guess that's to be expected. Hey, Boruto. What? Is that game you bought fun? Uh, huh? Well, that was out of nowhere. There's nothing we can do here, right? I thought I'd change the subject. <sighs> Whatever. Okay, let's talk on our way home. Thank you very much. Anyway, about the game. It's pretty fun. It's like you're opened up to a whole new world. It's something you have to experience for yourself. I can't really explain it, but it's awesome. Okay. Hmm. I highly recommend it. If you buy it, we can play together. Sounds kind of fun. Probably not for me, since I've never owned a game console. I want to play with you, so I'll see if I can get it. Cool. I'm looking forward to it. Okay, that's all for today. See you, Sarda. Mitsuki. Hey! <sighs> you again? Ninja these days sure have a lot of free time. Oh, come on. It's just a game. Sure. Whatever. Why are you in such a bad mood? Don't you want to have fun playing the game? How is the guide supposed to have fun playing the game? Uh, um, yeah, right, of course. But don't you want to have some fun? What about you? Do you actually have fun in this game? What? I heard some other players talking. They were going on about how this game has what's called a beginner's wall, and it's not actually that fun until you get past that. So you should first focus on whether or not you're having fun in this game. Beginner's wall? And also, there's this. If you're able to get past that wall by one way or another, by mere chance, in some way, miraculously, by pure luck, then I might have fun by being surprised. I mean, there could be a slight chance of that. Whoa! I'm joking, of course. That wouldn't be fun for me. You might be joking, but you never know unless you try. Tell me about this beginner's wall. You... Uh, why do you take jokes so seriously? Whatever. It sounds fun. Plus, having a goal gives me motivation. <sighs> You're not gonna let up, are you? All right. They were talking about a mission's rank. Apparently, there's a rank that beginners can't overcome. They said it was the first D rank. 
I guess the first rank is the wall. Hm, I see. Okay, I'll do it. I'll get past that wall right away and surprise you. Fine, whatever. <laughs> How do you like that? Mission accomplished. I'm not a beginner anymore. Huh? <laughs> yeah, I'm awesome. <laughs> You're speechless. No, I'm just amazed. You really did it. You really do have a lot of free time. But I did it. You're not being very nice to me. Hey, what's so fun about surprising me? You're always in a bad mood. I just want to be more friendly with you. You want to be friendly with the guide? Don't worry, it's not what you think. I just want to be friends. Friends? You and me? Also, don't be so formal all the time. My name's Boruto. <sighs> it's weird that I use my real name for the game instead of a handle. <sighs> what a weirdo. The heck? Tired. Maybe I overdid it a bit. Oh, Boruto came down. Great, I'm starving. What? I have an extra copy of Ninja Heroes, so I'm giving it to Sarada. But what do you mean? How? Oh, I just happened to get the game after we talked. Then my parents sent me a copy on the same day. My parents said I should play it because it was very interesting. Uh, oh, <laughs> that was a nice gesture. I don't need two copies, so you can have one, Sarada. You said you were interested, right? But, but I, I can't accept that. I'm just going to throw it away if you don't want it. What throw it away? away? You're right. It is a waste, so you'd be helping me out by taking it. Ugh. I feel bad taking it. Borrowing it, on the other hand. Fine, you're borrowing it. That's all three of us, Boruto. Now we can play together. I yeah. Should we meet up in the game later, then? We can, but how do we meet up? Uh, first you set up the game, right? Then, you set the settings to... The others should be about done with their settings. But playing this game together on Team 7 feels kinda weird. Boruto. Alright, it looks like you were both able to start the game. Games these days are amazing. I understand why you like them so much. Right? I've played a lot of games, but none of them were this awesome. Hmm. By the way, the avatars you guys chose are... <laughs> yeah, I was thinking of choosing the seventh, but I didn't really want to be a male character. So that's why you picked your mom. Honestly? I'm a bit anxious looking like her. I look up to my parents, so looking like this makes me happy. <laughs> well, all of us are here together now. So why don't we just start up an easy battle? I'll get it ready for you. Hm? You! What? You disappeared all of a sudden before. I thought something happened. Uh, I have my secrets. Hey, who's this? Oh, this is our guide, Nanashi. Wow, so if there's something I don't understand, can I ask Nanashi? Maybe. She's the guide for events, but she doesn't like to do anything else. Words hurt, you know. 
I said I would help you. You said that earlier, but I didn't think you were serious. I assumed you didn't want to do it. There are times when I want to help. Very, very rarely, mind you. I probably shouldn't have said that. I know you're the game's guide character, but can you really set up a battle at your own convenience? I'm like a wizard in this space. That's nothing. That's amazing. Hey, Boruto, come on. She's saying she'll help us. Yeah, but what's up with you? Shut up. It's fine. It's a battle, right? I'll get it ready so you can just go play. Uh, okay. She's pretty pushy. Y yeah Okay, let's do this. I'm counting on you, Nanashi. Okay, I'm starting the battle. We did it! This game is fun. It's so realistic. I knew you'd have fun, Mitsuki. But you too, Sarda? You're usually so stubborn. Is that so bad? You're cool with me. It's only gonna get better. Let's keep going. What if I get hooked on this? Thanks, Nanashi. That was a lot of fun. Boruto, you looked like you were enjoying yourselves. That's nice. Huh? What's that mean? <laughs> it means I'm glad you're enjoying the game. That's because you prepared a fun battle for us. That's right. Thanks, Nanashi. Then why don't you come back tomorrow, too? Hmm? Huh? It's not like you to be so inviting. I wasn't inviting you. Sounds good to me. I want to play this game again. I'll do what you want to do, Boruto. <laughs> then all three of us will be back. Yeah. I gotta get going. I have to help my mom. I know what kind of game this is now, so that's good. I'm going to. I want to talk to my parent. Okay. See you tomorrow. Bye, Boruto. See you, Nanashi. Let's see. Guess I'll wander around a little. See ya. Hey, you finally called me by my name. Oh, I did. I don't know why you did it, but I'm glad. <sighs> what? It's just... I'm not usually like this, but you're different. Huh? <sighs> that was fun, but I'm beat. I've been staring at the screen for way too long. Yes, very good. It makes me feel very good when everyone has so much fun. I'm glad things are going well. <laughs> I am unquestionably a true genius. There is no way that I could ever fail. And that is exactly the reason why Katasuke-sensei should have treated me with much greater kindness. But all he did was tell me I was wrong. He's just a loud-mouthed old man. I'll do what I want. Yes, that's right. It's what I must do. I, Tegusei, didn't learn the most cutting-edge research to create something boring. Which is why I... So... Oh, yes, yes. It, is it? <laughs> A 98% recovery factor. It's exactly as we planned, so we can proceed tomorrow. The whole ninja world will be shocked. Right, Master Mertz? Mm, that's excellent. You don't 
usually have breakfast with us, Dad. <laughs> Sorry I can't eat with you every morning. Did you finish work? No, the opposite. Something important came in, so I might not be able to eat with you again for a while. So today's the only day we'll all eat together. Sorry. It's okay. I know how hard your job is, Dad. Thanks. <laughs> that reminds me, Boruto. I wanted to tell you something. Hmm? Lately, a lot of people who are playing games are collapsing from exhaustion. What do you mean? They're still investigating the details, but I don't think it's a coincidence. I'm not saying you shouldn't play, but be careful. Like a ninja should be. Thanks for breakfast. I'm heading out now. Oh, me too. I have a mission. Well, well, you're both so busy. Be careful, Daddy. You too, Boruto. That's what my dad said this morning. People collapsing after playing games. Hey, is the game the seventh was talking about ninja heroes? I don't know, I didn't ask. I do feel weirdly tired after I play that game, though. Isn't that just your eyes getting tired? I don't feel like it's just my eyes. Hmm. Maybe I should ask around about it. Ask around? There are lots of people playing Ninja Heroes. Let's ask them. Sure thing. We were planning to play Ninja Heroes today anyway. Oh well. I'm tired after the mission, but I guess I'll play a little. Collapsing from games? I'll have to get more info on this to figure out what's happening. Okay. I'll carve a new mark. You better conform this time. And quit your crying! Crying won't get you anywhere! What was that? Boruto! You are just staring into space. She could die and the others went ahead to ask around. Hey, that weird movie when the game starts? What is that? Huh? There was no movie. No way, I just saw it. It was too fuzzy for me to make much out. <sighs> I don't know what it was you saw. We didn't see it. Seriously? Hey, if you don't feel well today, why don't you stop? We can ask around by ourselves. Uh, I'm fine. I was just a little startled. Okay, let's get to it. You know, I think we should ask some of the other players. Maybe we can get some good info out of them. Do I get tired playing this game? Of course I do. I mean, I really get into it. When you're that into a game, it's natural to get worn out. Hey, you know, I do feel oddly tired when I play this game. I thought it was just my eyes that were tired, but my whole body gets so sluggish. I haven't fainted or anything, though. My friend told me his friend fainted. I also heard they played Ninja Heroes for like 20 hours a day. Anyone would faint after that. I actually got so tired I had to go to the hospital once. I played Ninja Heroes all day that day, and I got really tired out of nowhere. When I woke up, I was in bed. The doctor said that I played the game too much. Now my mom watches me like a hawk. I've heard rumors that there are people who collapsed after playing the game. I tried to look into it myself, but I couldn't figure out who made the game. I asked at the store, but they told me they bought it wholesale, so they don't know. It's really weird. I mean, it's such a popular title. Um, I guess.
guess that's probably enough people for right now. So, summarizing all the information we gathered... The game that people are collapsing from is definitely Ninja Heroes. So that's why I felt so tired before. I'm curious about what Boruto heard regarding people not knowing who made the game. Yeah. Looking into that will probably take a lot of time. We still need a lot of information. Why don't we continue investigating? Yeah. What is that? What's going on with the moon? That's... Order everyone to get inside! The history of warring state seals. All right. I'll do some investigating of my own. Thanks. Here's a copy. So any news on your end? There's some suspicious intel, but after listening to you, I have some people I'm interested in. The criminal organization Zero. Zero? It was founded by Mertz, a rogue ninja of hidden reign, and they're furthering the intentions of the late pain of Akatsuki. Pain? Apparently, Mertz is calling himself Pain's successor, but I don't have any more information than that. They've been operating underground until now, but they've been very active lately. Thinking about the time frame when that Teguse you mentioned left the village, there's a strong possibility that he's working with Zero. Where's their hideout? I don't know yet. I'll look into that too. Sorry for all the trouble. Don't worry about it. I'm just doing my job. <laughs> I'll look into Zero, too. Come back when you have a chance. It'll make Sarada happy. I don't have time to rest. Boruto! Boruto! Are you okay? Huh? What's wrong, Mom? What's wrong? Didn't you see that moon? The moon? What about it? What? Did that really happen? Are you okay? Team Awari! Mom, are you okay? Yes. I got a weird blemish, but I seem to be fine. Blemish? What is this? Do I have one too? It doesn't look like you do. Ah, <sighs> good. Wait, I might be okay, but you and Himawari... It's fine. I'll go to the hospital with Himawari if anything happens. Okay, make sure you do. What the heck happened? With all this going on, Dad probably can't come home for a while. Oh my, no matter how far scientific ninja tools have progressed, they can't do this yet. The great revolution of pain is near.
Three people collapsed after being surprised by the light. 24 others reported feeling ill. After a detailed examination, no major problems were discovered, and all patients were returned home after basic treatment. Thanks for the report. Go rest for a while. You were up all night. Yes, sir. <sighs> no problems. At least so far. That's even stranger. We're still investigating, but... It seems that all living beings in the Hidden Leaf were exposed to the light regardless of being indoors or even if they were sleeping. Also, all those exposed to it had a mark-like blemish appear somewhere on their bodies. But these marks disappeared within an hour. It felt more like it was absorbed into my body rather than disappeared. Regardless, it seems imprudent to write off such a commotion so easily. Until we know what it is and what's happening, we should proceed carefully. Yeah. I'll have the inexperienced Genning stay in the village on standby, in case anything else strange happens. Give all missions to Chunin and above for now. I'll tell Sasuke, too. He might have figured something out. Okay, handle it. That was the information we got from the Lord Seventh Hokage. There will be a limit placed on missions. So, no more missions for a while? Looks like it. So, will you play with me? Sorry, Himawari. I know I finally have time off, but there's something I want to look into. Something you want to look into? I want to know what happened yesterday, but there's not enough information right now. I should probably look further into Ninja Heroes. Okay, then. Where were you when that stuff happened with the moon? Oh, man, I was outside then, so I looked right at it. And I got this weird blemish, which freaked me out, but it went away on its own. I was so relieved. Hey, did you do the new event? You mean Kaseki Gathering? Of course I did. You could get a pretty rare reward. Really? Oh, man. Don't do the events without me. Hmm. A new event, huh? Maybe I should see what it's all about. This is the Kiseki Reward Exchange. Ha ha ha! That was worth the hard work. Hey, looks like Kiseki Gathering started. It has... Although, you probably don't need to do it. It's not any fun, I bet. Hey, come on! You're supposed to be the guide for the game, aren't you? I mean, you can't just go around saying stuff like that, you know? Well, I guess so. I guess I'll try it out, and I'll see what it's like. All right, come on, give me the event details. <sighs> Fine. You might be able to get something you want. What's that mean? The event-specific character will explain all that at the Mission Information Desk. Mission Information Desk, right. Okay, I'll check it out. This mission reception counter is only for the new event, Kiseki Gathering. Tell me what the Kiseki Gathering event's all about. You got it. Here are the details. Kiseki Gathering is a battle event. It's really hot right now. You fight mysterious enemies in the limited time battles we've prepared. The mysterious enemies are very strong, but if you can beat them, you'll get stones called Kiseki. If you collect Kiseki and give them to Nanashi, the event guide, you can exchange them for rare items in the game. Also, if you have a winner Kiseki, you can get a replica of the Lord Seventh Hokage's necklace currently seen in commercials. However, it's completely up to luck whether or not you get a winner Kiseki, meaning you'll be really lucky if you get one. 
Okay, make sure to gather Kiseki and get your own necklace. Oh, so that's what Nanashi meant about something I might want. Ah, uh, I am afraid you can't participate in all the battles right now. The remaining battles are still being prepared. Sorry. That should sum things up. Unfortunately, it looks like there were no winners in the Kiseki you collected. But if you give the Kiseki you collected to the guide, Nanashi, you can exchange them for great items. Hey, I gathered some Kiseki. Can you exchange them? All right, you can't exchange unless you have several. Yep, got them all here. I see. What's up with you? You're acting a little weird today. You... Me? It's nothing. Okay, I'll take the Kiseki. No winners. I hate to give up, but that's all for today. I can still play the game tomorrow. Okay, then. Oh, I was caught up in the event and almost forgot there's something I wanted to ask you. So, there's a lot of people who get sick in the real world after playing this game. Do you know why that is? I don't. Oh, so you don't know either. Maybe their eyes are tired? That's what I thought too, but I guess that's not it. Hmm. Oh well, I'll figure it out if I keep checking. You shouldn't stick your nose into it too much. It could be dangerous. How is that dangerous? I'm just investigating why people get tired. Thanks for worrying about me, though. <sighs> it's already nighttime. I'm kinda tired. What could it be? So this is where it was released. If so, then that infinite Tsukiyomi makes sense. That means that now, in this world, a mysterious Uchiha exists. Huh? Dad? Hey! I didn't think you'd come home for a while. Yeah, I wasn't supposed to, but I forgot to bring a change of clothes. You're kidding, right? <laughs> Boruto. Hmm? This thing might be trickier than I thought. If something happens, take care of your mom and Himawari. <laughs> you can count on me. But it's not just Mom and Himawari I'll protect. I'll take care of you too, Dad. Big words for such a little man. But I'm glad. Okay, I'm heading out now. Let's see. Now, Dad left, so... What to do? Days off can be so boring. Hmm... I have time, so I guess it's Ninja Heroes. Maybe part two of Kiseki Gathering started. This mission reception counter is only for the new event, Kiseki Gathering. The battles you couldn't try last time have been unlocked. Make sure to give them a shot. Oh, that Kiseki! Congratulations! The Kiseki you just got is a winner Kiseki! Huh? Oh! 
If you give it to the event guide Nanashi, you'll get a replica of the Lord Seventh Hokage's necklace as a present. Yeah! Himawari will be so happy! I gathered some kiseki, and one of them is a winner! Uh... I didn't think you'd get a winner, Boruto. Okay, so I gave you the kiseki. What do I do now? If you write the reward code, 8070502, on the postcard included in the game box, you'll be sent the necklace. I see. Are you sure? About what? <laughs> Nothing. Hey, you're definitely acting strange. Did something happen? I'm here to talk. We're friends. Friends? Yeah. <laughs> you call me the guide. Your friend. Boruto, you are so... So... So weird. <laughs> Come on, I'm trying to cheer you up. It's okay. I don't need cheering up. I may not look like it, but I'm actually excited. About what? Don't tell anyone else, but something really great is going to happen. I have no idea what you're talking about. Is there another event starting or something? Yeah, there is. A big one. So that's the reason. I'm acting different because I've been keeping it secret. So that's what it is. Good to know. It sounds like you have another fun event, though. I'll check it out next time I'm investigating. Okay, I'm gonna head back. I have to fill out that postcard. Boruto. Hmm? You're really not all that bad. Hmm? So... So... If anything you don't like happens, or if you want to get away, you can come here. Huh? That's all. See ya. A weapon does not need a kind name. Nanashi will be perfect for you. <laughs> With this, the tracking effectiveness should dramatically improve. It's still experimental, but I really hope the Seventh allows it. Excuse me, Seventh? Uh, seventh? And Shikamaru, too! <coughs> Who are you? <coughs> no. Katasuke, it's you. You're Katasuke. Wh what happened? I don't know. My head. So many things are disappearing. Disappearing? What do you mean? What's this? Call the medical corps right away. It's an emergency. Yes, sir.
<laughs> the seventh is down. It's funny to see Katasuke Sensei so flustered. Our plans will now begin to bring pain to the whole world. Worship me. You belong to Mertz now. Seventh. Seventh! Oh, good. You're both awake. How do you... Seventh? Prepare for war. Definitely. W war? Boruto! Wake up, Boruto! Mom? What's going on? Good. You're okay, Boruto. What do you mean? Something's wrong with the village! Everyone started preparing for war all of a sudden. What? I don't have any idea what's happening. I was worried something might be wrong with you, too. Thank goodness. <laughs> Where are you going? I'll go ask Dad. Boruto! You guys! Hey, hey! What's going on? My mom's acting strange, and I... I'm gonna go talk to my dad. The Seventh isn't home? He's at the Hokage's chamber. Dad! Are you seriously going to war? D dad What's wrong? Are you okay? S some... some kind of crazy power. It, it erased my memory. The memories of this Merit's guide came in and took me over. Th thanks to Kurama protecting me, I, I had a little memory left that let me come back to myself, but only for an instant. Listen. The mastermind is zero. Merits. Tell, tell Sasuke. Dad! Boruto. You take it from here.
Dad? <laughs> Get to the battlefield once you're prepared. Dad. The Seventh and my mom are acting the same. He said something about Azero and Mers. Yeah. How do you know that name? Uh, Sasuke! Naruto? I see. I'm glad you're all right, Dad. Sasuke, who is Mertz or Zero? Zero is the name of an organization. Mertz is the one who founded it. I still don't know any other details. Only that they're a criminal organization. It's obvious that they're behind what's happening in the ninja world. Are you talking about all this war commotion? Doing something so extravagant so suddenly. Is that possible? No. There were signs a few days ago. If you think of the scope and the timing of the incident, it has to have something to do with that infinite Tsukuyomi. There's something else. When that light shined, this sort of mark appeared on everyone, like a blemish. Mom and Himawari had it too. But why don't we have it? Yeah. Naruto wrote that the mark appeared on all living things, even if they didn't look directly at the moon. I used Susanoo to block the light, so I didn't get a mark. How did you block it? I don't know. We were playing the game when it happened and didn't see it. In there? Y young Lord! You're okay! <gasps> Wait, are you acting strange too, Young Lord? I'm fine. I'm normal. R really Thank goodness. But with the Seventh in that condition, I don't know what to say. Did you see the Seventh too, Katasuke-sensei? Yes. Late last night, I went to the Hokage's chamber to show him a new scientific ninja tool I developed. Scientific ninja tool? You mean that bag? Oh, no. The new scientific ninja tool is in the lab. In here? <laughs> it's embarrassing, but it's the Ninja Heroes game. Huh? You keep that on you all the time? Yes, it's a popular game, so I carry it around with me, so I can play anytime. <laughs> Ninja Heroes? That's the game I was talking about. Ninja Heroes is a virtual online game that got popular really quickly recently. If you put on this special equipment, you enter the virtual space. And you can do all sorts of things there. Oh, the virtual space. Right. It's like another world that's different than the real world. Maybe it would be easier for you to understand if I said it was a genjutsu world used for recreation. A genjutsu world? People get weirdly tired after playing this game. We were collecting information about it. Uh, Sasuke? Where did you get this? I just bought it. Oh, didn't you say you didn't know who made this game? <gasps> That's right! I was wondering about it too, so I looked into the developer, but I didn't find anything out. What's wrong, Dad? Hey, Boruto. Got a minute? Hmm? What's wrong? It's just so much information. I'm starting to get confused. So how about we get organized here a little? We might be able to figure something out. Yeah, me too. Actually, I gotta admit, my head is all messed up as well. Okay, so let's review what's been going on. 
Right now, it's not only the Hidden Leaf Village, but the whole ninja world is acting strange. Everyone's personality has changed, and they're all trying to start a war. If we follow this back, do you remember what the cause was? Uh, let me see. I'm pretty sure that it's because of the moon. I mean, from a couple days ago, isn't it? Yes. Blemishes appeared on everyone because of that. It's somehow connected to all the current commotion. But we didn't get the marks on us. No. People say the light was strong enough to affect people even if they didn't see it directly. So, what's the difference between us and the people with marks? So, if we look at the specifics, your mother and sister got the mark, but you didn't, even though you were in the same house. What was the difference in what you did versus what they did? Differences? I mean, Ninja Heroes is about all there is. Yes. You, me, and Sarada, too. We were all playing Ninja Heroes. I think you were getting information about fatigue from the game. Yeah, that's right. I mean, that's about the only difference. I think this is a big point. You make it sound like it is. Then I guess either the game console or the virtual space has a trick to it. If there is, we don't know if it has any connection with this case. However, I think it's worth investigating. Yeah. Sasuke. We thought about it, and we think the game is suspicious. Don't ask me what, but I feel like we'll find some sort of clue there. I was thinking the same thing. Um, what is it exactly? I first grew suspicious when you didn't receive the effects of the moonlight. You were only playing the game. It's not like you took any protective measures. However, that light couldn't be blocked by any ordinary means. You would need a special jutsu like mine to interrupt it, or... not be there to begin with. Be there? And if you weren't there, then it wouldn't be a stretch to think there was something to the game itself. Dad, do you mean... <laughs> I see it. A hidden jutsu inscription. It looks like a special one similar to a summoning. A huh? summoning? That's been set to the game console? Yes. I don't know what jutsu it's based on, but I think we can assume that it has the power to transport something. Considering that this was set to this console, there's a possibility that identical inscriptions could be set in other items. This is unbelievable! So this is the reason why the mark didn't appear when we were hit by the moonlight. Yes. In other words, you weren't really on this side. You were actually in a different space, sent there by the transportation jutsu inscription set to that console. But... but doesn't transportation usually mean moving the entire body? Not knowing the details of the jutsu, this is merely a conjecture, but... Is it possible that this jutsu is only transporting the mind? If not, this case would have been discovered sooner. It would have been the game that makes people disappear. That's true. In other words, the mark from the moonlight is introduced by the mind, and not the body. That's why we didn't get the mark since we were over there. Hmm? Wait a second. If our minds were being transported, that means that space was... Huh? I mean, what is Ninja Heroes, then? Right. Up until now, we thought that we were playing in the game's virtual space, controlling the game characters. It turns out that our minds were transported to some other space, not in the game and playing there. Seriously? However, that can only be possible if there is a space to bring in the mines. It would take a powerful ninja to be able to do something like that. An Uchiha could do it. An Uchiha? Of course, not every Uchiha clan member could do something like that. 
But it's obvious there is someone here who can. What do you mean? I've been traversing the ninja world these last few days on a mission for Naruto. He wanted me to look into a scroll stolen by someone named Teguse, who left the village several months ago. Teguse? Could it be that the scroll he stole was the history of warring state seals? Yes. The scroll had details about dangerous genin sealed during the Warring States period, and included their abilities and locations where they were sealed. I received a copy and went around investigating the seal locations. The other day, I discovered that the seal for one of the locations had been broken. The person sealed there was... an Uchiha clan member. I don't know their name. It wasn't listed anywhere. However, according to the scroll, this person possessed an ability called Yachihoko, and was instrumental in the war as an Uchiha clan weapon. There's something else. The records said that aside from Yachihoko, this person had jutsu such as Tsukuyomi and Amaterasu implanted. I know Amaterasu is the black flame you use, but what is Tsukuyomi? The user creates a space in full control of its shape, time, and rules, and then brings in a third party. The jutsu is primarily used to inflict psychological damage on your opponent. If that were used for another purpose, such as ninja heroes, for example. Exactly. Everything would make sense. The key is the existence of this mystery Uchiha. It would be safe to assume that only someone with Uchiha abilities could control a jutsu on the scale of that infinite Tsukuyomi. And the ninja hero space we played in was created by that Tsukuyomi, a Uchiha clan jutsu. I wasn't able to track down Teguse, who stole the scroll. But based on the information, it seems that he assisted Zero. That was the final piece of the puzzle. Ninja Heroes was created from his skills, and the power of the Uchiha clan. If it's something they created, it makes sense that we don't know who the developer is. It's rather clear now that Zero and the game are connected. We also know this chaos won't end unless we stop Zero. With how little information we have on their organization, this game is the breakthrough we need. You will go into the game and see if there's anyone inside connected to Zero. If we do find someone connected to Zero, we'll be able to find out what they're after and where they're headquartered. Okay, let's roll. Right, Boruto? Right, Mitsuki? Uh, yeah. Oh, he's here. Let's get started then. Sure. What's wrong? We have to do our best if we're going to resolve this situation. Uh, I know. Boruto. Hmm? You already have an idea who's connected to Zero, don't you? <coughs> Someone who's always in Ninja Heroes and can control this space. I mean, there's really only one person who it could be. Oh, you're here. Yeah. What's wrong? You sound so gloomy. That's not the Boruto I know. Um... Oh, I know. You were about to say something selfish again, right? You want more missions? Hmm. <sighs> Fine. I'm really not supposed to give in to such demands. But for you, I can bend the rules. No, that's not why I'm here today. Hmm? The ninja world is in chaos right now. Did you know that? I didn't. I'm the guide for this game. I don't know anything going on outside. My dad and a lot of other people have gone crazy. War is about to break out in the ninja world. Hmm? So? How is telling me going to help when I don't know anything about it? Well... Of course you know. You guys! What do you mean? There's a lot of evidence pointing in your direction. Boruto, if this is too hard for you, I can do it.
This place isn't a virtual game space. It's a genjutsu world created by someone. They're using an Uchiha ability called Tsukuyomi to make it possible. We also know someone capable of doing that is with this criminal organization called Zero. <sighs> we already know this game is connected to Zero. In other words, it wouldn't be strange if there was a Zero supporter here. They'd also have the ability to take part in the game at will. I remember what you said. I know you're the game's guide character, but can you really set up a battle at your own convenience? I'm like a wizard in this space. That's nothing. And you actually did it. So, what are you trying to say? That I'm this Zero supporter because I can control this space at will? Yes. Although we don't know if there's some third party controlling the character named Nanashi. Or if it's through some other means. Is this what you think too, Boruto? I don't want to think that. But... But there's so many things pointing at you, Nanashi. <laughs> oh, so you noticed. So it is you. I guess it's all right. I couldn't keep up the ruse much longer anyway. You guys were right about this space. My role is to manage it while disguised as a guide character. To be honest, it was hard playing the guide. I had to do my best using systematic words and being polite. Doing my boring job as a guide and having everyone enjoy the game without drawing attention to myself until I was ready to execute the plan. <sighs> Why did I get stuck having to do that for such low-life ninjas? That Tegusei guy really gave me such stupid orders. I just followed them because Zero is going to grant me my wish. Why would you do that? I needed a means to recover. Engraved Tsukuyomi requires a lot of chakra, and I was just revived. That's why this space was set with a chakra draining device to use for the recovery. That's the truth behind the fatigue you guys were sniffing around about. I see. And you recovered enough chakra to use the engraved Tsukuyomi, that unnatural moon phenomenon. Yes. Thanks to it, I was able to mark everyone in the ninja world. So I am actually grateful to you. You and all the game players who helped me recover. Oh, and I'm also grateful for all the Kiseki gathering. Especially you, Boruto. That Kiseki you brought was the Hokages, after all. What? What do you mean? There's this ability called Yachi Hoko. It allows you to control the minds and chakra of any person linked with the mark. Being able to control their minds means they can be summoned to wherever you want. Are you saying... Have you figured it out? The opponents you fought in the Kiseki Gathering were the minds brought here from the real world with Yachi Hoko. The Kiseki that you got from defeating them? It actually belonged to that person. In short, their memories. Putting out the light inside the Kiseki, that removes the memory. And if instead, another memory were put inside... They can be brainwashed. Exactly. Then I got my dad's... That's why I told you it wouldn't be any fun. You... you do you really think doing this will get your wish granted? You've just created chaos! That was precisely what my wish was. Ninja turning on and hurting each other, the ninja world collapsing on itself, and erasing all of the ninja everywhere. Zero will make that come true. I mean, the ninja world is on the brink of war as we speak. No one can stop it now. You. Screw you! No way you're getting away with this! You can protest all you want, but... How exactly are you going to stop me? It's easy. We'll get you to tell us everything. Stuff like how to get the memories back, or where the enemy hideout is. 
I see. However, you worthless ninja are weak, foolish, and small. The only thing big about you are your mouths. You really think? You think you can beat me? I'm Nanashi Uchiha! What? <laughs> Space! <gasps> your body! You too! I am freely in control of your temporary forms and this space. <laughs> Nanashi? Those eyes and hair color are the same as mine and my dad's. So the Uchiha who was revived was... That's you! In any case, being able to change the space all at once. What do you think? This is all just trivial for me to do. You are no match for me. Or do you still think you can defeat me? <laughs> the look on your face. Stop helping Zero. There's still time to make this right. Stop? Who do you think you are? You've lived all your life in comfort. You're all soft. There's no reason to destroy the ninja world. Everyone we love will be... I know you're a really nice person. You wouldn't really do something bad. What? What do you know about me? You don't know what I feel. Or what I've been through. You don't know anything! Shining gun! There are so many things in this world that I absolutely despise. That includes ninja. And also, the ninja world. Just thinking about it consumes me with rage. It pains me. I can't stop the anger from pouring out of me! That's the reason I supported Zero. And why I sent the whole ninja world into chaos. I hate ninja, all of them! I wish that they'd all die! This is... Nanashi! Hold on! Seems she has the advantage in this space. Nanashi! If only I had you back then. Hey! <gasps> We're back. Seems that way. <clears throat> Oh, you're awake. The plan is already going smoothly. I think I've done enough. There's no need to monitor that side anymore. Hmm, but... It's fine. The plan is going smoothly, as Nanashi said. Leaf, sand, cloud, stone, mist. All of the five great villages have started preparing for war. It's only a matter of time now before the fifth great ninja war begins. The world needs pain. By inflicting pain, this unrefined world will be able to grow. Merit, you are something akin to me. Your family and friends were taken from you by the warring nations. You learned of pain just like me, and realized how wrong the world is. Therefore, we have a similar intention. Changing the world is quite simple, if you have the unbreakable will of the gods. Dedicate your efforts and your will to realize Akatsuki's mission. The whole world, the people, 
War will ruin the villages, and at that point, they'll collapse. And Zero shall provide the reign of power that Lord Payne strived for. <laughs> Are you okay, Boruto? I yeah What are we going to do now, though? She got away. A ninja world, world missing individual memories. memories. In other words, a ninja world without memories is about to be born. What? Who are you? Come with me if you wish to stop this chaos. We check it out. What is this place? There aren't any other players. It seems like a separate place from where we were before. Everything looks like the real world. You're right. Welcome, Welcome to the to Time, Time Reservoir. Who are you? I'm Tonori Otsutsuki. You could say that I'm the supervisor of this planet. Otsutsuki? Hold on. Don't tell me that you're with Momoshiki. I'm not like them. I'm here to help you. Help us? Can we trust you? That is up to you. However, you have no way to better this situation right now. That's why, despite your suspicions, you followed me here. Am I right? Boruto? This person really doesn't seem to be an enemy. Yeah. He feels different from them. <sighs> it's true we don't have any options. And I guess you seem different. Does that mean you trust me a little? Yeah, but if you do anything funny, I'm gonna... I won't be doing anything. Just offering a bit of help. Rather, there is much I will ask you to do, if we're going to make it through this. About that, is it really possible to stop this chaos? Yes. But it will not be easy. Recovering all of the memories people have built up until now will require a significant amount of time. What's more, the amount of memory that has been lost is astronomical. Normally it would take decades, or even centuries. Then there's really no way. However, there is one thing about this current world in our favor. And that is your father. Naruto Uzumaki. My dad? Although the amount may vary quite significantly, your father is in the memories of nearly everyone alive right now. His power is so great it goes beyond wars, and is accepted by everyone. A power that could only be because he is Naruto Uzumaki. We will be using that. Using what? First, I will have you go back to the past and retrace Naruto's history. You can retrieve his memories there. Go back to the past? How? It is possible if we use this mysterious space's unique properties with the power of Otsutsuki. A book?
However, only one person can go to the past. What's more, they will be unable to interfere with any of the events there. If it's the only way, then I guess we just have to do it. If you're able to recover Naruto Uzumaki's memories, I will be able to release them. The released memories will spread from him to others. Once they have rippled out far enough, the lights will shine again. And everyone's memories will return. Got it. Although, it seems like it's going to take a while. We should go back and report to my dad first, then. I'd like to go over the situation and figure out what we're gonna do. Yeah. You should hurry. There's not much time left. You're back. Welcome back, Boruto. Wait, you... Yes, they haven't been affected either. Mom, Dad, everyone went crazy. Just when I was thinking about what to do next, Katasuke came up to me. We heard about everything. We'll be helping you guys too. I mean, the ninja world depends on us after all. So? What happened? I yeah, actually... So you let her get away. Sorry. You can apologize later. We still have things we can do. Focus on that for now. Recovering memories? Seems like we should hurry. We were looking into the situation on this side while you were in the game. The Hidden Leaf Ninja have all left the village and are seconds away from going to war. It's the same with the other villages. They've all taken similar action. Every village is under Merz's mind control. Crazy. We don't have much time. We'll be splitting up into three groups. One will search for Zero's hideout on this side. Another team will return to the other side and begin recovering the memories. Sasuke, let me handle the memories. I'm part of the reason this all happened. And besides... If someone needs to retrace Naruto's history, you're the one most suited to do it. You got it. Sarada and the rest will go search for the hideout. Gather as much information as you can and determine its location. You make it sound so easy. Are we going to be able to find it without any leads? Hmm. My dad always said that you'll be able to find anything you're looking for if you start sifting through the straw. Straw? We know that this Zero organization has been really active lately. That means that they're probably sending out spies, running experiments, or have been doing other things that have brought them to the surface. He said that that's when people get careless and make mistakes. If you can find a mistake, you might be able to catch them by the tail. Where do we start? How about you look into recent missions? If there's any unsolved and suspicious missions, you might find a lead. Missions. Oh. Hey, Sarda, speaking of missions... Right. I just remembered, too. It might be connected. What? What are you talking about? We'll tell you more about it later. Dad, have you used Susano in a fight lately? No. Then that place really is suspicious. I think it's worth looking into again. Where are you going, Sasuke? I'm going to slow down Naruto. Once he joins in the war, there will be massive casualties. I'm the only one who can stop him. Take this. It's a communication device. You'll be going to the other side. Please contact us with this as soon as you get back. Thanks. We all have our missions. Let's go. Let's do this. this. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'll give back my dad's memories. Take this, Boruto. The light will likely return if you follow Naruto's memories. When that light shines strong, your father's memories are returning. If that happens, I just need to hand it to you, right? 
Exactly. Okay. Now go to your father. Get back Naruto Uzumaki's memories. Whoa, so I'm going into the past like this? You're going back in time to retrace the memories of Naruto Uzumaki. I'll be your guide. The nine-tailed fox spirit was sealed within your father by the fourth Hokage. And that's where Naruto's memories begin. With nine tails residing within him, Naruto dealt with persecution from the villagers. But in spite of his burden, he stayed strong. Hanging on to a dream to one day become the Hokage. After graduating from the Ninja Academy, Naruto was assigned to Team 7 with Sasuke Uchiha and Sakura Haruno. The head of Team 7, Kakashi Hatake, held a training session to assess their abilities. Historically speaking, it was nothing more than a trivial competition. But to Naruto, it was his important first step to finding his ninja way. This will be nothing like your previous training. It's a test to see what you can actually accomplish as a Genin. Did he say test? What? Of the 27 graduates, only nine will be accepted as Genin. And the chance that you'll fail is at least 66%. Seeing everything happen like this, could this mean I'm inside my dad's body? That's right. From this point on, you'll experience the life of Naruto Uzumaki, directly from his point of view. This is how you'll collect his memories. I get it, but this feels pretty weird. They're about to start. Dang it! Well, I'm not gonna be weeded out! You're done collecting memories here. On to the next one. But wait, what happened to Dad and the others after that? Kakashi Hatake wasn't actually testing their strength. He just wanted to make sure they understood teamwork. Since they easily met his expectations, he officially welcomed them to Team 7. <laughs> of course they did. It is those three after all. From there, they took on various missions as ninja. The life of a ninja is full of danger. And this is the first time Naruto fought a life or death battle. Haku lived as Zabuza's tool of violence. Yet in the end, Naruto was able to show Zabuza how much Haku cared for him. Seeing the way Haku and Zabuza died, was a turning point in Naruto's life. With this experience under his belt, Naruto moved on to his next encounter. Against a ninja feared by many, known as Gara of the Sand. Oh, good old Gara. After encountering Naruto, Gara began to walk in the light. And I'm sure you know what happened after that. Uh-huh. He was accepted by all the villagers and became Kazikage. Naruto's spirit has influenced so many around him. Some are guided to the light as Gara was, while others have drifted toward darkness. Sasuke chose the latter path. Naruto reached out to Sasuke, in a desperate attempt to stop him. 
He considered Sasuke an irreplaceable friend. It continued to go back and forth without a decisive result. It provoked Naruto to unleash his ultimate power, using everything in his repertoire. He was still unable to stop Sasuke. Naruto refused to give up. Once his next chance had surfaced, he immediately took action. He decided to embark on a journey to train together with his new master, Jiraiya, the legendary Sanin. And several years later, history would once again grow turbulent. To think those two had such a crazy past. I never knew about any of this. this? Your collected memories change to light, gathered in a single spot. I get it. So if the light gets strong enough, Dad gets his memory back, right? Correct. Nice. I've got this figured out now. But first, since you've collected all the memories up to this point, you should head back to the time reservoir. It seems a fascinating development has begun. Fascinating development? Boruto, changes are happening in this space because you started returning the memories. What do you mean? This place is built on the space this Nanashi girl created. Therefore, her memories are mixed into the crevices of the space. Normally, those memories would not come to the surface. But this space isn't under her control now. That's why they reacted to this space, and her Kiseki appeared. So, if I touch that, I can see Nanashi's past? Whether you do it or not is up to you. However, if you want to know more about her... Of course I'll look. I hardly know anything about her. Yachi Hope, what a splendid ability. You will be our weapon from now on. If we implant other visual jutsu, you can multiply its effects. A weapon does not need a kind name. Nanashi will be perfect for you. I'll carve a new mark. You better conform this time. And quit your crying. Crying won't get you anywhere. No. No. No! Help! Someone please help me! I think I've seen this. It's something only I saw a while ago. Something really horrible. That was Nanashi's past? The past is getting jumbled together. What you saw before was most likely her letting you in, and her control over the space began to diminish. So that's why only I was able to see it. However, that was enough to understand the awful things she's had to live through. Her Kiseki will appear again. Why don't you get back to what you were working on in the meantime? Yeah, I know. Okay, here goes. Much time had passed since Naruto and Sasuke last saw each other at the Battle of the Final Valley. Naruto returns from his training journey to the Hidden Leaf, in high spirits. Team Seven's leader, Kakashi, has Naruto spar with Sakura. Of course, this was to assess how much the two of them had grown. Kakashi was impressed with their growth. 
So Sakura and Naruto rejoin Team 7 to resume their missions. The ninja world had been turned upside down by a criminal organization called the Akatsuki, actively working behind the scenes to subvert peace. Naruto and Sakura had no choice but to join the fight, and finally got some new information on Sasuke. They set out to find Sasuke at once, but what they found was a mere shell of their former friend. Seriously? I don't know if I want to see this or not. What happened to Dad, Sakura, and Sasuke after that? Naruto and Sakura's desperate pleas went unheard by Sasuke. And once again, he vanished into darkness. Naruto lamented his inability to reach Sasuke. But this frustration was the driving force behind his next attempt. Naruto started training right away to go after his friend, yet again. But meanwhile, there was a target on his back. The Akatsuki invaded the Hidden Leaf to try and steal Ninetales from within Naruto. The Hidden Leaf Ninja fought fiercely against the invasion, but the last to stand strong against the Akatsuki was none other than Naruto Uzumaki. Now, with enough experience to defeat even Kakuzu, citizens throughout Naruto's village recognized what a powerful ninja he'd become. The Akatsuki realized it would take a great deal of power to capture Naruto. And because of this, their leader, Pain, moved into action. Pain possessed the legendary Rinnegan Eye and was known for his jaw-dropping power throughout the ninja world. He had killed a great many ninja, even Naruto's master, Jiraiya. To avenge his master, Naruto trained even harder, this time acquiring sage powers to take on pain. The battle between them was extremely destructive. One deadly struggle after another, Naruto was victorious. During battle, Naruto discovered Nagata, who was actually controlling Pain, and they revealed their goals to one another. Nagato had a different concept of peace than Naruto, but Naruto's great spirit softened his heart, and they reached a peaceful resolution. Naruto had saved the Hidden Leaf from crisis, and was welcomed by all as the village hero. Once an orphan, living alone, he was now accepted and loved by all. Dad. Oh. That shining light. You've collected all the memories up to now. Perhaps you should get back to the Time Reservoir. An omen of imminent danger hangs over the Time Reservoir. What is it? It seems her Kiseki appeared again. Yeah, I'll look into it. You are dangerous. You will live here from now on. Do you understand? The Senju are coming! Send Nanashi out here! Ha ha ha! Did you see that? The Senju clan were running scared! The Senju joined up with another clan. Apparently it was to fight Nanashi. I found her. She's Nanashi Uchiha. Get her! Seal her up! Everything. Ninja. 
this world? I hate them all! What I saw was her back at the time when she was sealed away. Her power was too great, so she was sealed away by people who thought she was dangerous. If I were treated unjustly by the Uchiha clan, and every ninja in the world became my enemy and was imprisoned, I could understand why you would come to deeply hate ninja in the ninja world. So that's why she's trying to destroy the ninja world now. Her misery is that she never found someone who understood her. There's only so much our hearts can take. wrong. Why do we have to fight allied villages? For Lord Meritz. Who is Lord Meritz? The Lord Seventh said the same thing, but I don't get it. We must fight in order to realize Lord Meritz's ideals. Get in our way. I'll do whatever it takes to stop you from fighting. How futile. Stopping me won't stop the war. What you're doing is meaningless. We'll see about that. The ninja from each village have arrived at the battlefield. The battle should begin shortly. So brittle. To have such a bond so easily broken. <laughs> Lord Payne. No. Payne. The reign of power you envisioned will finally be realized. However, its vanguard will not be you who passed away. But me. I wonder how things are going for Sarada and Mitsuki. I'm worried about Sasuke too. Wait, I need to focus on my own mission. After the battle with Pain, the ninja world began a significant shift. The Akatsuki and Madara Uchiha declared war on the ninja world in a bid to attain the tailed beasts. And Sasuke, still trapped in the depths of darkness, moved to action as well. He was hell-bent on the destruction of the Hidden Leaf and the restoration of his clan. Huh? But why? I thought Sasuke wanted to kill his older brother. The ugly details of life are often kept hidden. Sasuke learned that what he was told about Itachi was false. He set out to crush the Hidden Leaf, and to kill the Hokage. And there to meet him was none other than Naruto, who had no intention of abandoning his friendship with Sasuke. The battle between Naruto and Sasuke ended in a stalemate, and once again they went their separate ways. Naruto set out to save Sasuke, and Sasuke to destroy Naruto. In a strange way, you could say their paths were aligned. Sure, you could say that, but it doesn't feel right. 
the ninja world became further embroiled in combat. After Madara's declaration of war, the ninja formed the Allied Shinobi forces, ushering in the Fourth Great Ninja War. Of course, Naruto quickly took to the battlefield with his new companions, first encountering ninja from his past. In the midst of intense fighting between Naruto and Nagato, Itachi caught Nagato with his guard down and successfully sealed him away. They actually didn't have to fight anymore at this point, but I guess that's the fault of the war. Each phase of the battle took a dramatic turn. Notably, there was one ninja revived with the reanimation jutsu, who confronted the ninja who were fighting in the desert, and weakened the allied shinobi forces. His name was Madara Uchiha. Even Naruto faced a grueling battle when confronted with Madara's power. Fighting Naruto and the others was nothing more than child's play to Madara. He summons a meteor, dealing a devastating blow to the allied shinobi forces. But what happened to Dad then? Only Naruto's shadow clone was in that area. He was actually somewhere else at the time. Somewhere else? Naruto ventured far away to confront someone. It was the imposter, Madara. In the midst of a long, intense battle, thanks to the quick wit of Kakashi and his team, they were finally able to uncover Tobi's true identity. He was a man dreaming to become Hokage just like Naruto, and a close friend of Kakashi from childhood. His name was Obito Uchiha. Obito Uchiha? Once, Obito was pure of heart. And because of this, he lost his way at the death of a loved one. This drove him to cross swords in battle with his former best friend, in hopes of bringing this world of dreams to fruition. It's kind of similar to Dad and Sasuke. Two best friends, fighting each other. I got it! I got the light! Then you'd better get back to the Time Reservoir. Once again, I see an unsettling omen there. Right. Okay, got it. Her memory appeared. That's the third time. I wonder, what'll I see this time? I found you. <laughs> if we use her power, the ninja world will be in pandemonium. Nanashi Uchiha, used by her clan as a weapon. You will prove useful in this time period as well. Who are you people? People who understand you. You hate ninja in the ninja world. Or am I wrong? Don't you hate the ninja who used you and sealed you away? Help me. We can throw the entire ninja world into chaos together. I think that was from when Nanashi was released from the seal. Hmm. They used her hatred to get her to help. Damn it. Let's continue. Obito had declared the Fourth Great Ninja War, and it was about to reach its climax. With the Allied Shinobi forces standing with Naruto and Madara fighting alongside Obito, the fight turned extremely chaotic. 
It became exceedingly difficult to drive back the combined forces of Obito and Madara. Finally, Ten Tails came into being, and Obito took in its power. Jeez, after that it seems like they'd be toast. Just as they had Naruto cornered, a certain ninja appeared, foreshadowing a dramatic change of events in battle. It was Sasuke Uchiha. Uh, Sasuke? With their combined resistance and Naruto's words, Obito's heart was gradually softened. At last, Obito was rendered powerless, and the allied shinobi forces erupted in celebration. But this celebration was short-lived. Madara had absorbed Ten Tails' power and became the second sage of the Six Paths. His power was now overwhelming. The ninja fought frantically to the death against him, losing one soldier after another. Just as things were looking bleak for them on the battlefield, two ninja rose up to face Madara. Of course, this was Naruto and Sasuke. They were the only two who stood a chance. After a back-and-forth battle, Naruto and Sasuke managed to contain Madara. But Madara refused to stop. He turned the situation in his favor, and finally brought about infinite Tsukuyomi. Oh crap! You gotta be kidding me! The ninja world was pulled into his dream, with only Naruto and a few others left behind. The fourth great ninja war had ended, and Madara was victorious. So he thought. It was thought? It was truly a war of earth-shattering proportions. Thanks to the quick wit of their companions and fierce fighting by Naruto and Sasuke, they were able to get through countless desperate situations. And Kaguya was sealed away once again. So they defeated the true mastermind? Is that where it ended? No. There was still some unfinished business regarding the long-standing connection between two star-crossed friends. The connection between Naruto and Sasuke and its eventual destination. I... I guess that makes sense. They were only able to accomplish one thing up to this point. Conflict, and nothing more. Over and over again, scars, ravaging the heavens above and the earth below, full of agonized cries and bitter rejection. And then... They're both so beat up. What happens in the end? Both of them expended all of their power in a life-or-death struggle and fell to the ground exhausted. Lying there, beaten and battered, they each expressed their feelings. In spite of everything, Naruto's pure intentions remained. Nothing could change his undying love for his friend. And that would soon soften Sasuke's hardened heart. At long last, Sasuke came to accept Naruto's friendship. Sasuke finally changed? Wow. So, the two guys I know today... It would be foolish to try and explain the rest here and now. But what your father achieved can be clearly seen in your village today. As ninja history moves on, Naruto remains at the helm.
The light! Even brighter than before! The time has come. Let's get back to the Time Reservoir. Right. You've done well. <laughs> I'm sure you've seen quite a lot, chasing your father's memories through time. I thought I knew everything about my dad already, but I didn't even scratch the surface. It's like my dad was... Man, was he cool. His life had a big impact on history. That's why he's also the key to returning the memories to the ninja world. <gasps> Is that Nanashi's? The fourth memory appeared, but it's different from the others. What do you mean? I don't know exactly. You'll have to check. Hikari. Yes, the ninja world may still be in the darkness right now, but I want this child to walk within the light. That's why I wanted to name her Hikari, meaning light. Is that strange? It's a good name, right, Hikari? Hikari Uchiha. That's her real name. Then why does she call herself Nanashi? Having lost her parents, and finding herself being used as a tool for war, her heart broke, and she was given a new name. Nanashi, meaning one without a name. That was the new name given to her. Having lived her life like a doll, a name must not have been important. What? Damn it, this is making me so angry! She lived her life in the shadows with no future ahead of her. And now the ninja world is headed toward a similarly shadowy path. A cold, dark path, with no light to speak of. I'll never let that happen. Right. That's what the memories are for. Naruto's memories that you've collected will shine light on the world. Now. Let's restore the ninja world to what it once was. Yeah. Connections born of Naruto Uzumaki's memories. Run and spread across the ocean of memory. Memories. Resurrect here and now. trying to do why are you so obsessed with me because we're friends why are you so 
so determined to stay involved with me. Because we're friends. <laughs> Loser. Let me ask you, just what are you then? Are you still under the control of that nobody, Mertz? Or... <laughs> I think I've already told you several times by now. I'm... Your friend, you know? What have I been doing? Are you back to normal? What are you saying? Why aren't they fighting? What is going on? Impossible! Our plan was going so well. Why did the mind control suddenly stop? Nanashi, was it you? I didn't do anything. Really? You didn't stop this after feeling sympathetic for the boy? Not at all. Then why? It doesn't matter. Even without it, as long as I am alive, Zero still has the advantage. Yes, but do you know how much we spent to get this far? Just focus on your surroundings. Huh? Multiple Leaf Ninja detected around our hideout. They already have a lock on our location. How is that possible? They are foolish, but not stupid. They know we're out here, and have been searching for us. What? But how? The only information out there on Zero is sketchy at best. They could have someone as good as you. As good as me? Could it be... Katasuke-sensei? In any case, intercept anyone who comes near the hideout. Go. Sir! Mm. Everything is going awry. How could this happen? <laughs> this is getting interesting. Geez, you didn't hold back, did you? You didn't either. We don't have time to rest. It's not over yet. Yeah, I know. Ready? Yeah. We've succeeded in reviving the memories. The ninja world has been brought back to normal. <sighs> Thank goodness. What do you want to do now? That's... Nanashi Uchiha's memory. I didn't think there would be more. Hey! 
Could you just tell me what beginners should be doing? Who is this guy? Oh, it's just a kid. It's easy to handle them when you can see what they're thinking so clearly. I can just have kids like him read the manual or something. Come on, just tell me! You already know what's on this page 13. He's so demanding. Nanashi! He's talking to me again. Did you see what I just did? What is so fun about talking to me? Hey! He's here again today. I guess I can hang out with him a little. But don't you want to have some fun? What's that? Don't worry, it's not what you think. I just want to be friends. What is with him? You said that earlier, but I didn't think you were serious. I assumed you didn't want to do it. He's right. Why did I help him of my own accord? Hey, he finally called me by my name. He noticed. However, it doesn't feel too weird. Did something happen? I'm here to talk. We're friends. F friends? Did he just call me his friend? Oh. That's nice. I'm so happy. <laughs> Come on, I'm trying to cheer you up. Sorry, Boruto. I just can't forgive Ninja. The more I think about it, the more this dark feeling bubbles up inside me. But I want to save Boruto. Oh. It hurts. It hurts. <laughs> I knew it. I knew she wasn't a bad guy. Living through her harsh past, never being treated like a person. I'm sure Nana, she was very happy that you reached out to her. However, she was also a prisoner of her hatred. It seemed that she was deeply conflicted about it. Boruto, let me ask you again. What do you plan to do now? I'm gonna go talk to her again. Even if she might not want to listen. Even then, nothing can start if we don't talk. Besides, she'll understand, because she's not a bad guy. So you trust her? Yeah, we're friends. <laughs> Go then. Yeah! The child is strong. Huh? Oh right, he gave me a communication device! This is Boruto. What's going on? Oh, Boruto, can you hear me? This is Sarada. I can hear you. I'm going to ask you point blank. Did you do it? You did, right? Yeah, I nailed it. Good. What about you? Did you find the hideout? Mitsuki, try the right side. Yeah, there. Sarada. Oh, sorry. We're in the middle of looking for the hideout. I think we'll find it soon. Sounds like you guys are on it. Yeah, the tracking ninja tool Katasuke Sensei invented really came in handy. Besides, the mission in the woods? That was the spot. When we used the ninja tool to scan the lingering traces of chakra, we were able to detect a number of suspicious ones. One of them was the chakra belonging to someone named Teguse. When we followed it, we were able to narrow down the location. I see. Props to Mr. Katasuke. 
Puerto, what are you going to do now? I'll head over there too. We can't let Zero get away with this. I thought you'd say that. Okay, I'll tell you where we're looking. You know Mount Higakure, northwest of the Hidden Leaf Village? There's a crevice that stretches about 10 kilometers in the southern district. Sarada, watch out! Sarda! Hey, Sarda! Damn it, what's going on? Boruto. They attacked us. We managed to hide. But Shikadai and the others were taken away. Damn. However, thanks to that, we know where their hideout is. I've left markings every 50 meters. The 30th is the last one. Just head straight from there and you'll find their hideout. Got it. I'll do the rest. You guys get back to the village. You're going in alone? That's too dangerous. I know. <sighs> There's no stopping you, is there? Mitsuki, take care of Sarada. Okay. Once I get Sarada to Hidden Leaf, I'll come with some backup as soon as I can. Okay. Boruto, what about Nanashi? I was able to learn a little more about her. What she's done, what she's been thinking. She's hated the ninja world for so long, but she's also in a lot of pain. If she weren't, she wouldn't have looked at us like that. I'm gonna try to talk to her again. Don't mess up. I won't. There's no reason to destroy the ninja world. Everyone we love will be... I know you're a really nice person. You wouldn't really do something bad. A weapon does not need a kind name. Not as she will be perfect for you. Endure the pain for your clan. And quit your crying! Crying won't get you anywhere! Hey, do you think they'll come rescue us? I don't know. If he took care of things on his end, they'll come eventually. Hmm. I see. They're increasing the strength of the rope by continuously channeling trace amounts of chakra. Quite ingenious, Tegusei. <laughs> what a sore sight you are, Katasuke Sensei. I was a little worried when you guys were approaching the hideout, but as you can see, we captured you. However, I didn't expect the mind control I had over the entire ninja world to be broken so easily. That was your doing, wasn't it, Katasuke-sensei? How did you do it? The mind control failed? Is that true? So that means he... He did it! Hmm? Wait a second, what are you saying? So do you mean that it wasn't actually you who was behind it? All right. Then who was it? It was me! <laughs> who are you? Your Boruto! Lord. Hmm? Hold on, you're... The ninja who stopped the Otsutsuki invasion, and the seventh Hokage's brave son. 
So you know about me. I wasn't expecting that. When our plan was realized, I considered eradicating all of the clans connected to the Kage. Therefore, I had looked into you as well. I apologize for investigating you without your permission. It's fine. Either way, everything you've done won't matter anymore. <laughs> well, welcome to Zero's hideout. You're Mertz. Indeed I am. The leader of Zero, and the entity guiding this ninja world. The one who shall surpass pain and ascend to become a true god. It's almost laughable when they bluff this much. <laughs> I don't expect a child like you to understand. I guess that it would be foolish of me if I asked what you came to do. I assume that you've come to rescue the captives and to destroy our organization. That right? Glad we're on the same page. Makes things easier. However, there's one more thing I want to do. I'm gonna save Nanashi, who you're just using. Really? Let me talk to her! <laughs> you heard him. <clears throat> Nanashi! I'm here because I want to talk to you. I have nothing to say to you. You might not, but I have a lot. You're persistent. In game and out. Just leave me alone. Just turn right around and go home. You know I can't. I mean, I finally got to meet the real you. Look, we're finally able to talk face to face. I found her. She's Nanashi Uchiha. Get her! Seal her up! Nanashi! Just leave! Or else. When I leave, you're coming too. You really are stupid! I'm not gonna fight you! You're too persistent! Honestly! Just get out of my face! <sighs> to be honest... I thought... that if I just talked to you... I was sure I'd be able to get you to change your mind. I guess that in the end I was just being naive. <laughs> Thinking about it now, you're right. I've only known you a few days. It's stupid to say I understand you. Our lives are so different. In the world that I'm from, there's little hardship. But you were born during the Warring States period and used for war. What you've been carrying inside your heart? I didn't realize. It's so dark and heavy. We're standing in completely different places. You finally understand. We have nothing in common. But that doesn't mean I'm giving up on you. Huh? Because if we're in different places, We just need to get close to each other. What? To fully understand what you're feeling, I need more time. All the suffering that you've endured, I haven't had a chance to understand it. But that's just for now. You don't need to do it all at once, but just please tell me about yourself. Tell me what you have bottled up inside. Then we can think about what we can do. Little by little, at your own pace, let's replace those bad memories with fun ones. At the least, by playing Ninja Heroes, I got to know you some. It was a lot of fun. For me. <sighs> we aren't strangers. Not anymore, that's the truth. We're friends. 
Which means it's not as if we can't. We're friends. You exist for the glory of the clan. Destroy our enemies, even if it means your death. You do not need emotions. You will spend the rest of your life as a weapon. Are you stupid? You must be stupid! I mean... Were you even listening to what I said? I hate the ninja world! That's why I want to destroy the ninja world! Then my hatred will finally disappear! Replace my bad memories with fun ones? That's not what I want at all! I just want the ninja world destroyed! It doesn't matter what you say. I'm never going to change my mind! Hey, come on, don't lie. I'm not lying! Yes, you are! Stop! If you're not lying, then... Tell me this. Why are you crying? Wait, you... you mean... Shut up! It's all your fault! Don't you get it? You're making me feel all confused about everything! Nanashi... Take care of what confuses you. Destroy Boruto. Eliminate your hesitation. Have the future you desire. A world without ninja. Just stop! Nanashi, you don't have to listen to him! You're just- I told you to shut up! Stop causing me pain! Stop! I can't- Leave me alone! Stop confusing me! Materasu! You got her! Get lost. Crush them! Destroy the Senju! You have no siblings or parents. You will use your powers for the clan. Did something happen? I'm here to talk. Hey, is she the... It's better not to look at her. She's not like us. Don't worry, it's not what you think. I'm here because I want to talk to you. When I leave, you're coming too. You don't need to do it all at once, but just... Please, tell me about yourself. We aren't strangers. Not anymore, that's the truth. We're friends. your deal what huh <gasps> tell me why why are you always in my head all these horrible memories inside my head so why do I see your smiling face too why does your face show up even when I think you're a nuisance why <gasps> why are you just like I told you before. I don't know your painful memories. That's simply the truth. I hate it. But there's nothing I can do about that. But I can slowly replace your future with something fun. Maybe we could play Ninja Heroes. Or go somewhere with everyone together. Come on, let's do all the things you couldn't do before. I can do those things for you now, too. I wish... that you'd give me a chance. One last chance for you to not hate Ninja and the Ninja world anymore.
Barto. You disappoint me, Nanashi. Were you not going to destroy the ninja world to avenge yourself? Was that not the source of your hatred? <laughs> In the end, you were just a child. I'm taking Nanashi. I have no need for something that is no longer of use to me. Take her. It doesn't matter. No use to you? Seriously? You just see Nanashi as a tool to use. You're doing the exact same thing that her clan did in the past. I'm nearly a god at this point. Feudal lords, the five Kage, the relics of the past. Every last thing, all of it, is beneath me now. And he sees you the same way. Are you okay with that? <laughs> I don't care how anyone sees me, as long as I can make my ninja tools. He's helped me create so many. I've never been happier. You're really starting to tick me off. But I'll take your offer and take Nanashi with me. Yes, I'll allow you to take her. Although, only after I have fully used her up. What do you mean? <laughs> what? <laughs> Nanashi! <laughs> What's going on? Young Lord! That's... <laughs> <laughs> What are you doing? Did you think we broke her seal without any sort of plan? I'm extremely cautious by nature. The Forbidden Curse Tag. Have you heard of it before? First you set a curse tag on your target, and then you can use it to control them. You allow them some degree of freedom, but they will never betray the user. Additionally, you can even take full command over them, should the need arise. Don't you think that's the perfect way to control a living weapon? We've updated it to a modern version. What do you think about that hair ornament? <laughs> it's quite fashionable, don't you think? I'm the kind of man who cares about appearances. I still have a use left for her. To fulfill my wishes, I will draw forth the terrifying power of the weapon in its entirety. Now! Your shackles have been loosed! You're free to go all out, my weapon! Nanashi! Boruto! <laughs> Boruto, don't hesitate! <sighs> Fight! Fight or else you'll die! But... Don't worry. You just need to fight as you always do. If you can knock her unconscious, we'll be able to help her. I'm afraid it won't be that easy. You are talking about an Uchiha weapon! A lowly Genin is no match for her! Boruto! You don't have time to think about it! Fight! <laughs> this is a surprise. I didn't think you could defeat Nanashi. Hmm... Perhaps she still retains some of her autonomy. That could be allowing her to hold back some of her powers. 
In other words, if I strengthen my control over her so she loses all sense of self... Are you okay? Huh? Oh... I think he's dead. That's the... Leave it to your dad and his friends. Now you've really done it. You'll pay. So the sinners have arrived. Sinners? You're one to talk. You're one to talk after sending the ninja world into chaos. <laughs> you have no idea just how big a sin you've committed. What do you mean? Our group's name is Zero. Because it is our mission to take the ninja world and reduce it to zero. And for what reason do we wish to reduce it to zero? When the world is in the midst of peace and prosperity? It's because this current world you've created is wrong. It must be corrected. Hmm. Sounds just like someone plotting a takeover. You are familiar with the underside of society. I expect you are well acquainted with the rampant spread of evil. But Zero is different. Everyone sought me out to change the world. While I may have been the one to form this organization, we are made up of people who willingly joined the cause. They volunteered to help and fully endorse my beliefs. What are you saying? I guess I should start with the end. You see, the world simply craves conflict. Living within a world of peace, a world of order, that may be satisfactory to you. However, peace eliminates conflict and order defeats the entire purpose of Ninja. This new age you created through the Fourth Great Ninja War has created a rift of non-conflict behind the scenes. When the world doesn't seek conflict, where are the ones suffering in this rift supposed to go? They came to Zero, looking for the place they belong. Those who can only express themselves through fighting. Those who wish to test their strength. Mercenaries. Among them are some who lost their family in past conflicts and are looking for a way to release their anger. They seek conflict. They wish for a world where they can hurt, draw blood, and vent their emotions. They are seeking the reign of power, pain strived for. No way! Pain. Nagato, what he wanted was the peace that would come after. The methods you use. They're just encouraging conflict for no rhyme or reason. And what is the issue with that? History is cyclical. War ends, peace comes, and then we return to war. That is the way things are. Also, while I support Pain's beliefs, I don't wish to do everything he envisioned the same way. I am myself. I'll design my own era, one based on his ideology. 
In short, I'll destroy the current ninja world, and I will reinstate a time of war. Once that is accomplished, I'll become a god that surpasses pain. How foolish. Is that all you wish for? Your plan demands too much. Too many sacrifices, on your side and ours. Face it. You'll only spread misery throughout the ninja world. Great aspirations come with great sacrifices. The members of Zero are well aware of this fact. Even Nanashi. She agreed to use her abilities to support the organization in order to destroy the ninja world. Nanashi doesn't want that anymore. <laughs> yes. She lost the will to fight thanks to someone putting ideas in her head. She can't even be controlled anymore. She is nothing but a nuisance now. <laughs> However, she can still be of use to me. Boruto Uzumaki, you said before that you wanted to take her with you. You can have her. I've already used her up. down. <sighs> I should say, I'm impressed. I can't believe you thought you'd win with skills like that. Don't underestimate us. Sasuke and I are powerful. <laughs> Victory is at hand. I was correct to lure you in here. What are you talking about? Ordinarily. I'm sure that my power would be no match for you. But in this case... Right now, unfortunately for you, you're already exhausted from all your previous fighting. So you have little energy left now. The simple fact is that you failed to best me. That's why you think you can win now? You slipped up. You see, you can exhaust us all you want. But even so, in the end, we're the ones who are gonna win this fight! <laughs> Do you know the Yachihoko ability? The ability allows one to freely control the chakra of the person who is linked and return it to the user without limit. The Uchiha clan used this ability to try to enhance every visual jutsu they could. They failed, but the emergence of Yachihoko shook the world. That's Nanashi Uchiha's ability. Yes. Nanashi's ability. A skill that only she has. One that only she can use through her Sharingan. But then, there came a day. I learned something. Something very important. A newly developed artificial eye. The higher-ups didn't approve but it would return my sight to me, and grant me great power as well, so... <laughs> Wait, you gave him those artificial eyes, Tegusei? Yes, I did! I gave them to Lord Mertz. I was able to get very good data as a result. Securing a supply of the chakra was difficult, but I found a way to resolve the issue. Be careful! The artificial eye Tegusei created is able to copy visual jutsu! Copy? Wait a sec. You mean... Exactly! It imparts a wondrous ability to its user. It allows them to use visual jutsu that had previously been limited to clan bloodlines! You see, 
I have created the ultimate artificial eyes. These are without a doubt my masterpiece. The fact that he has them means... <laughs> yes. I have Yachihoko. Naruto! Yes. <laughs> I can tell you see how dangerous these eyes are. Although, I'm afraid you're too late. <laughs> Countless ninja are already linked together, joined by the engraved Tsukuyomi. Are you aware of what that means? I'm sure you are. Their chakras are in my hands, and I am able to freely draw forth from them as I please. The vast amount of chakra is able to fully unleash the Mangekyo Sharingan and be able to recreate that power! What is this? Come on! Of course, since it's a copy, there are some visual differences. But even so, it should be more than enough to defeat you. You are no longer the most powerful ninja. <laughs> you are ants to me. You are nothing more than that. <clears throat> I admit that you're tough, but still. It's over. Is that the best you can do? I'm sure your chakra reserves are empty by now. So just give it up and stop stalling already. This is the last moment of the two great ninja who made history. How pathetic. This is bad! Focus! <laughs> This is the way your era will come to an end! But my era is about to begin! Now die! Boruto! But you... You were already... Nanashi. Just 
hold on. I'll put an end to this. You insolent little... Thanks, Orato. Step aside now. This battle isn't something for mere children to interfere with. You went too far. Dad and his friends had to overcome a lot to create this world for us. I can't let you mess it all up. But what I really can't forgive you for is how you just used Nanashi after everything she's been through and never once saw her as a human being. You fool. Nanashi is a weapon. What could be wrong with using a weapon? No, Nanashi is my friend! There's just no way that I could ever forgive you! For everything you've done to her! How could I be sweating? He was only given Nanashi's chakra. Fine, then. In due time, I'd plan to take care of anyone associated with the Kage. So I'll just take care of you right now! Parents can't be tapping out. Not when their kids are still up for the fight. Agreed. I can't have my students showing me up. I'm not gonna lose. This ends right here! I'll crush you! This cannot be! They're overpowering me! I'm the god who will create a new age! Possible. I won't accept it! I will never allow you to defeat me!
I have nothing left to fight with. <laughs> Boruto Uzumaki. <laughs> Underestimating you was my downfall. No. This era is strong. It's a whole lot stronger than you think it is. You lost to the era my dad and his friends created. It's strong, huh? Even if you believe it's true, how long will you be able to say that? I wasn't wrong, not about a single thing. There are many people in this world who wish to fight. That is the truth. Maybe so. But still, you can't treat people like objects. The methods you used, they weren't helping anyone. You're just selfish. You know, you've got some nerve, child. And you lost to that child. Yeah, of course he did. These kids are the world's new power. They've inherited all our determination. They've taken it and made it their own. They're a strong power, and one that won't break. Do you mean to imply that power's superior to mine? Changing the world is quite simple, if you have the unbreakable will of the gods. That power is... such an annoying... an annoying power. Young Lord! How's Nanashi? <laughs> I'm fully aware. I, I know who I am. Boruto... I felt... really happy. I was happy that you were my friend, Boruto. But still... it was... just so... painful. I couldn't forget... the past. I just couldn't. <laughs> I really struggled with it, but I... It's fine. I understand. Sorry. It's fine. by your side this it's ours both of ours this kiseki it's small but so important would you accept it uh, yeah of course I mean We've got to let it grow bigger, so we should hang out, right? Oh no. Why is this the end? I wanted to... spend so much more time together. With... with you. 
It's just so sad. Nanashi! Well, we failed at least this time, but the next time... And so, Zero's revolt ended. Luckily, the five villages didn't suffer any huge losses. But a girl had to be sacrificed. Why did this happen? It started from something so small. After our investigation, over 10 ninja were arrested on suspicion of espionage and aiding Zero's revolt. We're also closing in on a financier who was funding Zero, with a formal investigation by the Hokage's chamber forthcoming. This isn't what I said I'd bring, but here. Wow, so pretty! Sorry. In the end, I wasn't able to get Dad's necklace. Uh, but I'm only letting you borrow it. This is just really important to me. Are you sure it's okay if it's that important to you? Yeah, it's fine. It was in the shadows for a long time. It's finally allowed to see the light. That's why I want it to be out in the sun as much as possible now. Unfortunately, I'm gonna be busy going out on all my missions. And besides, I might end up losing it. That's why I'm hoping that you'll be able to look after it for me. Stand, but I just have to take good care of it, right? Yep, you got it. That's exactly right. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go play now. Okay. I keep wondering if things can really stay this way. I can't stop thinking about it. Was there really no way I could have saved her? If there was even a slight possibility, I... She's already suffered enough. That's why I want her on a new path, not in the shadows. The path and the sunlight. <sighs> it's morning. Did I have a mission today? Where are you meeting? Mm, Hidden Leaf Gate. Then don't be late.
Okay, I'm heading out. Take See care. You later. It's been a while since we got together like this. That's because you've been busy cleaning up the Zero case, Konohamaru-sensei. Yeah, it's been hard. Don't sweat it. So, what's our mission this time? It's to find a pet. What? Again? Didn't we do something like that before? A lot of pets ran away during all the commotion. There are still animals that haven't been found. Our job today is to find and capture them. This sounds like a pretty tough job, Boruto. Boruto? What? I yeah. Um, what did you say? Hey, were you even listening? This is our first mission in a while. Do I need to be worried about you? Uh, I'm fine. <laughs> I'm good under pressure. Okay, mission accomplished. That took longer than I thought it would. Sorry, it's because I messed up. Do you have your head in the game? You keep dropping the ball. That's why I'm apologizing. I promise to make it up to you. That's not the issue. Konohamaru-sensei, can we be done for the day? Yes, I don't have any more missions for you. Okay, it's a wrap. Good job, everyone. See you, Konohamaru Sensei. Okay. Hey, Boruto. What? You've been feeling down for a while now. Is it about Nanashi? I thought so. So, what does it matter what I think about? It's a free country. Yeah, but if your head's not in the game during a mission, then it starts to affect me. I already told you I was sorry. Look, just tell me what's on your mind. It might make you feel a little better. We're teammates, aren't we? There's something I've been wondering since fighting Merits. I've been wondering what I could have done to save Nanashi. I've read the report. Judging from the situation, I think it would have been very difficult to save her. The Seventh and Mr. Sasuke had used all their strength, and you were worn out too, right? Not to mention the forbidden curse ring they created puts a heavy toll on the target. You sure did your homework. The information about the Forbidden Curse is something I learned from my parents. <laughs> so, I can't help but think there was something I could have done. That's what keeps swirling around in my head, and I lose focus. It's pathetic, I know. Porito. Oh! Hey, why don't the three of us play Ninja Heroes again? Huh? I bet you haven't played since everything happened. This might be the diversion you need. But... If you play one of your favorite games, I bet you'll start feeling a little less sorry for yourself. Come on, you in, Mitsuki? Yeah. That's that, then. We'll meet there when we're done. See you later, then! Man, she can be pushy. That's just her way of looking out for you. Yeah, I know that, but... Ninja Heroes. It's been a while since I've been back. Of course she wouldn't be here. Where are the rest of them? They haven't arrived yet? Boruto. Oh, Toneri. We need to talk. Come to the Time Reservoir. I've already called your other team members. What do you need to talk to us about? I'll tell you there. I'll be waiting. 
What the? Uh, uh, Boruto? You wanted to talk? First of all, I want to say good job for safely resolving the case in the real world. I wouldn't say safely. I know the reason behind your distress. That's why I've maintained this space. What do you mean? This space should have disappeared after Nanashi passed, but Tonari has been keeping it open. Really? The world doesn't know that. They think Kaminarimon Company has taken over development. You can't fault them for that. There's no way they could know that Tonari was involved. Back to the point. The reason I've continued to maintain this place is to bring about a miracle. It is a forbidden measure that's only possible within this space. Okay, this is getting serious. What exactly are you trying to do? Change history. M meddle with history? Correct. Before, I had asked you to visit the past to recover Naruto's memory. There was a limit to it, and you couldn't meddle with any of the events. But now, I'm talking about allowing you to meddle. You can change a person's history. What? But that's... Normally, interfering with history would be impossible. However, if three special conditions are fulfilled, the opportunity opens for a brief moment. What are those three conditions? The first is to use an unstable space that's capable of controlling the principles of time as a source. Principles of time? Space? In other words, ninja heroes. Exactly. This space was created through the use of Tsukuyomi. Therefore, the passage of time is ambiguous, making it easy to create a connection to the past. The second condition is for it to be the night of a full moon. In order to open time, you have to use the natural ley line flowing through the Earth. The ley line is most active when there is a full moon. It's important to determine the best opportunity in order to use its power to the fullest. When's the next full moon? Tomorrow. And lastly, you need an object that signifies a connection between the person in the present and the person in the past. The object must have both people's chakra mixed inside. That will draw them together. But isn't that difficult? I mean, if they live in different time periods, how could they ever have their chakras mixed together? Normally, no. That's why meddling with history is said to be impossible. However, without it, you would be stuck wandering inside a time rift forever, without any guideposts. Boruto, you should know. There is already something here in this world that connects you to her. <laughs> is that true, Boruto? Right now, we have the two conditions fulfilled. If we bring the final one. You will be able to go back to Nanashi Uchiha's distant past, and save her, just like you wish. Wow. But what do you mean by distant past? Just as I said, the distant past, the Warring States period, when Nanashi was alive. What? But then... That's fine. Boruto... Saving Nanashi during that time period would be the best thing for her. Right, Tonari? The Warring States period is the age that shaped Nanashi. That was her turning point. If I could save Nanashi then... Tomorrow night. If you want to change Nanashi's past, bring the object that signifies your connection with her here tomorrow night. Got it. What are you guys doing here? I thought you might have forgotten. How could I forget? This is my chance to save Nanashi. But do you really have the object Tonari talked about? Yeah, there's something she gave me. I just need to get it back. Huh? huh? 
the necklace. I'm real sorry, but I need you to give that back to me. What do you mean? Is Himawari's necklace the thing you got from Nanashi? Yeah, she gave it to me right before she died. It's really important to me. It's ours. Both of ours. This Kiseki. It's small, but so important. So the stone on this necklace is both your Kiseki? Since we didn't get Dad's necklace, I decided to loan it to Himawari to take its place. I see. You're right. There isn't anything that could connect the two of you more than this. Right? Okay. Himawari, are you sure? You were feeling down for a long time. But you seem really happy today. I don't know what you're trying to do, but... Do your best! I'll do my best. Thanks, Himawari. <laughs> All right, I'm ready. Oh, you two are here. We want to see how it will turn out. Did you get the object that connects you to Nanashi? Yeah. Crap, that's from the real world, so there's no way I can bring it here. That's true. I thought it would follow me if I kept a good grip on it. <laughs> that's fine. As long as you had it on, you'll be able to call it. Whoa! Now we have everything. I will now open a door that connects to the past, using the ninja hero's environment as a source. Using the ley line will open the door. Then using Boruto and Nanashi's combined kiseki will send you to the past. All that would be left is for you to save her in the past. It'd fix everything. It's finally time. What is it, Toneri? Before you meddle with history, there is one important decision you have to make. Decision? What decision am I gonna have to make after coming this far? Let's say you change history, and safely resolve Nanashi's past. Yeah, that's why I'm going back. But... when you save Nanashi... Zero's revolt would never happen. What? Nanashi was the key to Zero's revolt. However, if you go into the past and save Nanashi, and she leads a life that didn't have her ending up being sealed, the chance of Nanashi ever appearing in our present day would be gone too. Without Nanashi as their key, Zero wouldn't be able to revolt. In other words, Zero's revolt never would have happened. In turn, you would have never stopped the revolt including going back to your father's past. <laughs> One more thing. If Zero's revolt never happened, there's another really important event that would also be negated. Mitsuki. You'll figure it out if you follow the timeline. We only learned about Nanashi through Ninja Heroes. Ninja Heroes is a space Nanashi created to further Zero's plans. Their plan only worked with her ability. But if you save Nanashi, there would be no future of her helping Zero. Which means Zero's plan would never have progressed, and Ninja Heroes would never have been created. That means, there was never an opportunity for us to meet Nanashi in the first place. In other words... We won't have a connection to Nanashi either. So that's what you meant, Mitsuki. Oh no... You have to make this decision. Will you choose a future with a connection to Nanashi? Or will you go back to the past and save her? Even if it means sacrificing your connection to her? <laughs> it's not a hard decision to make. What do you mean? 
I never had a choice to begin with. I'm gonna save Nanashi, no matter what. Even if it means erasing everything that's happened? Yeah, that's fine. As long as it means I can save Nanashi. You'll go to the past for her, even if it means losing your connection. Yeah, even if it means that. Besides, it won't be that easy to lose a connection you make. I'm not planning on forgetting about her at all. But if by some chance I do forget about Nanashi, I'll still have what's important in my heart. That's what I believe. That's my answer. I'm going to the past to save Nanashi. <laughs> you never had a choice to begin with. I asked you to make this decision already knowing this. You really are a strong child. Well, I'm off then, Sarda. See you, Miski. Just like you did with me. Your light will surely reach her too. You'll be okay. I know that there's no point in trying to stop you. So do what you think is right. Got it. O oh, door of distant memories. We offer principle as the price and ley line as the source. Guide him to his other. May there be a miracle. You'll be able to travel to the past by going through this door. The Kiseki should bring you close to Nanashi. But after that, it's up to you. I know, I know. You will only be able to remain in the past until morning. Once dawn comes, you will be drawn back to the present. You must save her by then. Toneri. Thanks for everything. I'm gonna knock this out of the park. <laughs> Thank me after you succeed. <laughs> you got it. Hold on. I'm gonna tell you the things I couldn't then. I'll be back. Right. Good luck. This is the past. Didn't he say I'd be brought close to Nanashi? Over there looks pretty suspect. Hold on, Nanashi. Now what do I do? I need to find Nanashi. Toka's brother died. That makes five. Damn it! Those Senju bastards! The rivers will run red with their blood tomorrow. Get Nanashi ready! Okay. Did he just say Nanashi? Nice. They'll lead me right to her. That's a lucky break. Hey! Who the hell are you? Uh... Uh-oh. I'm asking who you are! Oh, well, what can I say? I'm a new Chiha clan fan. Who is he? I don't know, but he doesn't seem like an amateur. He could be a spy. We'll take a closer look at him later. Throw him in the cell. Okay. The rest of you, prepare for tomorrow! <sighs> Where am I? A prison? Oh, right. I remember now. They captured me. Well, I can't be wasting any of my time in here. Do you want to die? Hmm? 
Seriously? It's set to burn? Hey, thank you. If you hadn't said anything, I absolutely would have been toast. So, uh, I didn't know that there was anyone else in here. You got caught too, huh? Guess it's not our lucky day. But this is perfect. Look, I know this is a weird thing to ask someone you just met, but I'm looking for someone. Maybe you know her. She's Uchiha clan's... Are you even listening? I don't need to. It has nothing to do with me. Hey, wait. Nanashi! So what? Huh? Oh, wow, it's you! So this is where you were all this time. Man, what are the chances, huh? I'm glad, though. I'm glad I ran into you. Okay, first objective accomplished. Next, we just need to get out of this place together. What? You don't think that we'll be able to get out? Don't worry. I can break down the bars of this cell with my jutsu. You can leave on your own. Huh? I'm a weapon. I only exist to fight for the clan. Use my jutsu as I'm ordered and destroy the enemy. I don't cry. I don't react. I don't run. I bear through the pain, then I die. I wait in this prison cell until I receive my orders. I don't go outside no matter what. That is my mission. I must follow these orders. Or I... Or I... No. You're not meant to be living in this sad and dark place. You're not just a tool for war. You have to walk down your own path. I... I... There's no way. I can't let them do this to you. I'm gonna get you out of here. I don't know exactly how all this works. But Jutsu are blocked in here, I guess. She's been locked in here all this time. I'll break it open! Don't be stupid. Just give up! It's not stupid. And besides, a path will always open up for you, as long as you don't quit. My dad knows this well. That's how he made it so far. And now me. I've come this far because I won't give up. <sighs> Stop! Knock it off! I've already given up. I'm ready for things to stay. Don't give in to some fate someone made for you. Deciding for yourself, shaking it yourself. Doing all of that is what makes it your own. Long isn't in here. Why? Why are you helping me? What was that? It came from the cell! Damn it! They must have noticed that. Time to go! <laughs> they broke the seal? Who could have done that? Could it be the Senju? Then are they after Nanashi? Don't let Nanashi get away. 
Capture her at any cost. Once we're free, no one's ever gonna use you again. But... Uh... Don't worry. I'll protect you. Until we get somewhere safe. <sighs> Nanashi! Trust me, okay? She's not here! Keep looking. She couldn't have gone far. There! Snow! You're that kid from before! Oh, you'll pay for this. Where's Nanashi? Beats me. We ran in different directions, so I've got no idea. You were both seen escaping together. It's no use trying to protect her. We got separated along the way. She's not here. Hiding her won't do you any good. I told you, I don't know where she is. <laughs> You've got some guts, kid. But you shouldn't be messing with adults. I wouldn't tell you even if I knew. If I tell you, her life will become miserable again. She's not miserable. Her existence will bring us victory. Fighting for your clan is what makes a true ninja. You treat her like a weapon. You don't even see her as a ninja. How do you know that? However, that is the fate of those born during this age. Those who fight as ninja. Those who are used as weapons. The give-and-take relationship makes the clan stronger. Then it's okay if it means someone's life is ruined? That's war. I'm not gonna let you do it. I'm never gonna let you make her... suffer again! Just hurt him. We'll make him spill where Nanashi is and which clan he belongs to. Yeah. Blows are too much. So this is the warring states period. I hope she got away. He just helped me on a whim. It was just by chance that he happened to save me, that's all. Nothing more, nothing less. So I just need to run away. There are no good people in this world. Why don't you give up already? I'm not done! <laughs> I figured. I haven't known you for long, but I can see that you're quite the ninja. I think it's time. Out of respect, I won't hold back. Fire Damn it. This is it? It's fine, as long as she got away. Amaterasu? <sighs> Nanashi! I knew it. Uh, why? Why'd you come back? While I was here fighting, you should have just run! I don't understand. 
I don't understand why either. But... but... Whether it was by chance, or just a whim... Till now... There's been nobody. No one's ever helped me like this. And... Nanashi... You know what will happen if you go against us. There is a heavy punishment for treason. Understand? I... I... <laughs> Shut up already. Nanashi's not yours. Don't you get it? She doesn't belong to you. Not any longer. Nobody ordered her to do anything. She chose this. She chose to come back on her own. And she sure didn't come here in order to fight you. It's so she can walk her own path. <gasps> Don't give in to some fate someone made for you. And besides, a path will always open up for you. As long as you don't quit! Deciding for yourself, making it yourself, that's what makes it your own fate. <sighs> Nanashi! Yes. If shaping it myself, if deciding it for myself, if doing all that is making my own fate, then choosing to fight alongside you is also my decision. Why are the words from someone I just met making me feel this way? Well, I still don't understand it. But... Of all the people that I've ever met, you are. Your words are different. And. For some reason, I felt that. That's why. From here on, I am going to fight for my own fate. Just watch. Nanashi? Your hand! Yeah. Is this Yachioko? Whoa! That's all the chakra I gathered. I've given it to you. Can you fight? <laughs> yeah, you bet. Of course I can. We'll win this! Now we have to face Nanashi? This will be tough. But we can't let her get away! This'll be the final fight. Let's go! I can't believe those kids could... Now that we're here, I think we'll be safe. I can't believe it. Did we really get away? Yeah. Now you're finally... You're free. Free? That's all I can do. What? You mean... You're not going to come with me? 
Sorry. I can't tell you the reason, but I won't be able to go with you. Well, tell me. Who are you? I can't go into the details about it. Let's just say... I'm someone who wanted to free you. You did? But why? Why would you do that for me? I'm a nobody. A nobody? Come on, you've got to be kidding me. That's not how I see you at all. To me, you're a really important person. You're my friend. That's why I wanted to save you, even if it meant risking my life. That's the new weapon, apparently. Who's that? Don't talk to it. It's dangerous. Apparently, it doesn't even change expressions when it takes people out. I'm sure the higher-ups will use it well. I guess, the way things stand now, there's no point in telling you. But the thing is, to me, you're you. And that is never going to change. That's why... <clears throat> What's wrong? I... I've been alone. For so long. Always somewhere dark. No one ever saw me as a person. I didn't think... I didn't think I had anyone on my side. But... But... There was someone who came and saved me. Not by chance, or on a whim. Someone came who called me a friend. I... I'm just... so glad. Honestly. <gasps> that I'm alive. Thank you. For saving me. Thank you for setting me free. <sighs> yeah. Damn it, it's already time? Wait. What? Hate to say it, but it's time for goodbye. But before I go, there's something I need to tell you. All right. Listen close. You're not Nanashi now. Hikari. Hikari Uchiha. That's the name that your parents gave you when you were born. That's your real name. Live your life in a new place in the sunlight. Also, there's something that I want you to know about the ninja world. It isn't only suffering. Listen, we might not be together, but we'll always be friends. Remember, you're never truly alone. Don't forget, I will always, I mean always, forever, 
I will be on your side! Boruto. Boruto! No! Don't go! Boruto! Live a happy life. Hikari Uchiha! It's morning. I think I have a mission today. Where are you meeting? Hmm? Hidden Leaf Gate. Then don't be late. Okay, I'm heading out. Take See care. You later. It's been a while since we got together like this. Only for you, Konohamaru. You've been gone on another mission this whole time, huh? We received some information about a certain underground organization, and we did a clean sweep. Underground organization? What did they say again? They called themselves Zero. It seems like they had a lot of plans, but we were able to take them down pretty quickly. We had Sasuke's help, too. Dad was there too? Yeah, I think he said he'd be returning home soon. Yay! <laughs> well, well, look how happy you are. What's wrong with a daughter being happy to see her father? Nothing, it's just that you usually don't act that way. What about you? I bet you'll be happy to see my dad too. <laughs> yeah, I wonder what he'll teach me next. Since I'm trying to follow in his footsteps, I suppose I really want to be able to use all his jutsu. So I think the next jutsu I'll have him teach me is... <laughs> what? I was just thinking that you're even more cheery than usual. Oh, you too, Mitsuki? His voice seems lighter somehow. Did something happen? Hmm? Mm, no, not especially. What? You just got cheerier for no reason. Yeah, it's strange for me too. When I woke up this morning, I just naturally had this warm feeling inside me. What? I don't get it. Hey, I don't know either. Konohamaru-sensei, Boruto is being weird. Hey! Honestly, you guys really do get along. How is this getting along? along? <laughs> Now, that's enough small talk. Time to head to our mission. Okay, let's get this done quick so I can get ready to see my dad. Boruto, Mitsuki, let's do this. Sure right. thing. Then let's go. What's wrong? Nothing. I thought the sun was warmer than usual today. Really? <laughs> okay, let's go. Looks like it's gonna be a busy day.
I'm coming in. Hmm? We're ready for the meeting. Let's get going. What? Is it that time already? What are you reading? A scroll. I found it in the library just a little while ago. It contains an account of some of the things that happened behind the scenes. Back during the Warring States period. And why are you reading it? Well, there's something really interesting written at the end of it. So they brought it to me to check. What is it? You need to come look at it later. I have no idea why he's mentioned in it. What? This is a record of a girl who escaped the bonds of the Uchiha clan during the Warring States period and went on to live a life unconnected to any clan. The girl was once used as a weapon. However, one night during a full moon, she made the decision to escape the clan. She found a new name and a new life. After gaining her freedom, she would never be used for war again. She lived modestly, enjoying the sunshine and lived a happy life. With the trees and grass, calmed by the flowing rivers and surrounded by people, embracing normality. She almost never spoke of her past, but she would happily tell everyone about one incident in particular. We shall record a section of her anecdote here. In my days of being used as a weapon, I had nothing to live for as a person. During this time, surrounded by eternal darkness, a young ninja suddenly appeared and taught me about fate. His words of encouragement still give me light to this day. I haven't been able to reunite with him. I don't even know where he came from. That's why... I choose to believe that the joy of deciding my own fate and my gratitude for happiness will one day reach him. I will bestow these feelings to the sunlight. So that they may one day Reach my friend, Boruto Uzumaki. <laughs>